Guilty for Dingus' perpetual trauma. <laughs> oh. You're not done yet. I, I still haven't read Jimmy's. I've been so busy this past week. I did read Jimmy's. Yeah, I'm behind. One moment. That's in there. I was I surprised thought you were about to say cocaine. Like, you literally brought a brick of cocaine in there doing lines all night. And she's like, well, he's not coming back anymore. I'm like, because of the beer? She's like, among other reasons. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that was the most he could afford. Why do uh, I hate? Okay. Is Melinda there? I want to talk shit to her face right now. No, she's at Disneyland, and uh, don't bring it up to her. I wouldn't don't bring it up. I know. I, I figured she wouldn't, so I'm not going to bring it up. Yeah. And, 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 and it's funny because you didn't even need to bring anything. She doesn't drink beer usually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Strike, Everyone beer. knows if you're coming over to a, 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 a potential suitor's house, you as a guy, you always bring a bottle of wine. You can never go wrong. Unless they're an alcoholic or like recovering, you know you can't go wrong. If they don't drink, you only have to open the bottle. But if, if they do drink, then you have a bottle. So. Yeah, because he didn't know that you could swap spells on level up as a bard. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, no problem with that. So, I don't or know if you've noticed, but I'm a little bit, uh, you know, like, pretty eager to let you guys do what you want. Yeah, but I always want to check in before I start, like, moving things around and stuff, especially because I'm still fairly new to Here, it, Here's the so. secret. I don't know your spell list, so I wouldn't know if you swapped it or not. <laughs> so, can I get an at-will silvery barbs? No. You just have <laughs> million fireballs. Oh. Uh, I thought that was the that made that noise. I'm like, oh no. Yeah, that was not fireball. No! She did. Oh no. Now get out of there. <laughs> oh, do I need to grab my menu? I'd just like to see my menu. Where is it? I'm a bad guy. No, no, no. no. Jimmy's He's anticipating that there's going to be combat tonight. <laughs> as soon as you just like my menu, it took a while to no. show up. Uh, I just like the room on that one. Me too. too. I, I like it very much. Okay, so. Is that terrible? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they started making standees available for I don't know how long ago. Oh, Hero Forge. I thought you said Kirigo. I'm like, you don't play Overwatch. <laughs> well, they have characters. Mm. Um, yeah, she came with Overwatch too. She's the one with the like, fox mask. The one that's somehow a sibling, even though the ages don't. They're not siblings. Oh, okay. <laughs> she trained with them. Uh, her mother is the one that taught Genza. So Hanzo and Genji sword play, so she also taught Kiriko. But Kiriko learned, channeled the fox spirit from her grandmother. 
so that's what she does. Cool. She just happens to know them. Gotcha. I actually really like the background in Lore of the Overwatch characters. Oh, it's really cool. Like, it's just, it's they made a fucking it, movie or something. Yeah, and that's what makes it worse that they canceled I mean, the PvE. We mm -hmm. sold the TV show to uh, Netflix, and we had two seasons not done before they canceled it. Really? Uh, Blizzard canceled it. Well, I, 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 I'm aware, but it's it's so fun. it'd be great, because the, the shorts were fantastic. The shorts were all movie quality. Yeah, I was really excited you about that see the, the Diablo show. But. You should see the most recent one that they put out for Sojourn. It's really good. I'm unfamiliar with the character. Just look up Sojourn. Okay. Just Fireball. We're all on low health, apparently. We're all what? On low health, because it was like the doo doo. No. Doo doo. What? Why does it say porn in Tuesday D and D night chat? Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to, Jimmy. I don't even understand how it says it there. Did I put it there? Oh, somebody else noticed this too. Yeah. I'm behind the time. Wait, what happened? What looks good, Drew? Oh, oh Twizzlers. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mike, I love it when you go goblin mode. You're just what like, now? I'm going to sit here with a full pack of Twizzlers while I'm going <laughs> to eat them all playing d, &D. <laughs> I love it. Well, once we start play playing, I'm probably not going to eat any of them, but it's a nice point. Hold on, are, which are the ones where you can peel them apart? They are Twizzlers also, but I don't know what they're... Peel them? Peel them? These are weird, weird twist things. Oh, the, the like the tube. Yeah. Those are acceptable liquors. I can't but remember the the full now. Red vines. No, that's something else. Like no, red vines. A type of twist. Yeah, you're right. But those are the best. I per personally, personally, I like I like the OG chocolate Twizzlers, but. Eric, chocolate chocolate. Twizzlers, O and peel. Okay. That's what that cannot be a, a me only thing. I've never. I, heard I don't of think they've Twizzlers. made their way. I, I've never seen chocolate Twizzlers out here. In East, East Coast. Coast thing. We got. You could find the lovely black licorice, which is the gross. Yeah, no star in East for me. So anyway, attempt number four. Last time, <laughs> you started the recording. Right? I think I did. Sorry. <laughs> um, there's a little screen on the bottom doing screen things. But I don't know if I hit. I think I hit record. Uh, I don't know about timers. There we go. Yeah, it's recording. <laughs> yep, nope, never seen those in my life, Mike. <laughs> they are delicious. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I don't need my hip anyway. You got another one? Yeah. Um, okay, tip number five. <laughs> Ben, you're perfect timing. Definitely never seen those. What'd you say? So I've definitely never seen those chocolate Twizzlers before. Okay. Hi. All right. Tip I mean, I remember them from when I was a kid, so. Hey, Dad, Dad, ask a quick question. What? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to delay you just slightly more. <laughs> All right, Ron, everyone dies. Hooray. We got a... It's the fourth calamity. <laughs> No, that's rock swallowing. That's different. <laughs> uh, all right. So last time you guys were in the barracks of some of the slave labor for these Allegans, um, who are constructing the Red Moon Talibud, which houses the apparently the primal version of Bahamut, not the actual Bahamut. Uh, that's being used as a power source once they launch it into the air, which is something that seemingly is almost ready. Uh, you tried to start a slave revolt uh, and ended up getting somebody who really had no will to live to begin with skewered with a uh, trident through his face and neck and chest. Uh, yeah, I did not have happy dreams after that. <laughs> Um, and then you found your way to a processing center, um, which also happened to be uh, 
connected to some other buildings, you learned that there's an underground tram system. But once you got on the roof, you were able to sneak down, incapacitate, and drag back up to the roof a couple of the elegant guards who were moving some of the slaves to be implanted with uh, the explosive device and apparently memory alteration. Um, and Millie decided to um, do some aggressive interrogation. Yeah. Uh, ended up cutting one's head off at the mouth <laughs> with a chakra. Uh, the other Unintentionally. one- Unintentionally. The other one you fed incredibly poisonous berries to. Uh, <laughs> that was fun. To, fun. <laughs> And you made some of our spectators at the same time exclaim, What the fuck, Jesus? <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. I don't know if you went back and you read some of that, but. Oh, uh, I did, yep. Yeah. It was, yeah. It's pretty <laughs> great. Um, interrogation. Yep. Interrogation. I like it. And I think where we left off, you had just come back down after Deus was scarred for life and was uh, looking for comfort from Kevin. Uh, did I miss anything? The. Kevin, Deus, and I don't know who else were taking the group of kids, the 23 kids, to... Uh, Kenji uh, and... Sid was going to, to give good berries and right. teleport. And I think Kenji and Omega went. Right? Yeah, I think Sol and Tavi were going to stay back. Right, I think, so. I think he sent Cassel, right. so... Yeah, it was, yeah, Sol, Tavi, Millie were going to stay and investigate the building a bit more. Uh, everyone else was going to head to uh, start taking, heading the kids back to the truck to then take them to the quarry. This section here, because I want to have a conversation with Sid as we're walking back. All right. Well, we are starting. Just <laughs> the FSJ.gif. Yep. It says, fuck shit, Jesus is right. <laughs> and Sid, Such a great movie. Everything. You saw that everything that happened, right? Mm -hmm. You know what happened. Okay, good. <clears throat> hey, hey, uh, faster. Mm -hmm. well, let's keep walking, kids. It's okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna talk to uh, the old guy while we're walking next to you. <laughs> hey, professor, uh, you never said anything. Uh, he just came back all crying and uh, really upset. Like, what happened up there? I mean, is, is there anything wrong with Millie? Uh, she, Dee's was saying that, like, you know, she's changed. I, I mean, that's. Um... That's certainly an option. Um, I don't. I don't really know, Kevin. I, I have suspicions, but I'm not a hundred percent yet. Professor, you know, my mind's been working so hard, just so hard while we've been here. And, and when you say suspicions, I don't even want my brain to think about what that means. Can you try just being a little bit more clear with what you're saying right now? I, I, I think look um, what Millie did back there was a bit more extreme than anything I expected from her but I don't know for sure that she's entirely in her right mind at the moment what does she do professor because uh, you know when I was downstairs it just seems like she got the information that we needed, and uh, and uh, I just don't know what what Millie could have done to sep to upset D so much. Uh, Kevin, look, I, I I get that we needed information, but we're not monsters, and some of the things that she did there are things that I would never consider doing to anybody, enemy or not. What what does she do? <laughs> Oh, the, the teeth. She, she Professor, I wasn't downstairs. I was with the kids, making sure they were all okay. In fact, I was telling, hey, kids, remember what I told you about Bob and, and what happened on the first day? Okay. I, I, I was up on the roof, so I wasn't right next to her, but I, I mean, I, I think that she heated his teeth up in his mouth. All right. I think she decapitated another one with a chakram. Some say decapitation is a good way to go because, uh, you know, you're only alive for 10 seconds after your head falls off and you don't feel no pain. Okay, but Kevin, we're not murderers. <laughs> I mean, nope, we're not, but 
We do murder bad guys, don't we, Professor? When they're incapacitated and unable to hurt us? Uh, I mean, sometimes. I don't know what you've been seeing, Kevin, but if somebody's unable to hurt us, I'm not looking to kill them. No, I agree. If, 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 we, if they've stopped and not hurt no one, uh, you know, uh, yeah, we best put them in, you know, in prison, right? Uh, lock them up. Yeah, that sounds good. We should lock them all up. <laughs> Were there any women over there? I feel like we should lock her up, too. No, no, Kevin. Stay on, stay on point, oh, please. No, sorry. I, I told you my brain has been working oh, in overdrive, and it's not thinking straight right now. Look, I, I, I have an, an idea of what, what might be the problem, but I need some time to figure it out. Until then, I need you to keep track of Deus and make sure she's okay. And I'll do my best to keep things together for as long as I'm here. Of course, Professor. I, do, do I need to be watching Millie, making sure she doesn't do no wrong? I think she just needs some more Bob in her life? Well, she's with... Tavi and Soul at the moment, so I, I'm pretty sure that they can, you know, keep an eye on things. But uh, the quicker I can get back there, the better, I think. Ugh, whatever it is, maybe it was always in the middle to begin with, because you know, a ghoul was basically a saint, couldn't do no wrong. And uh, ever since they oh. merged together, uh, I feel like well, you know, may maybe something went wrong there. You know, it's it's, it's funny that you mentioned Aul, Kevin. Um, after the library, did you notice anything different about Ao? I felt like a, a ghoul got smarter, like, like more intelligent and in coming up with a plan on how to deal with the situations we were presented. I yeah, think but we learned a lot from the library, you know? I, I, okay. Um, but before the library, they were very, you know, curious about things and, and very lighthearted about things, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Afterwards? Well, you know, afterwards, maybe not so much, but, you know, we did have to fight a giant book. And, and like I said, Professor, you know, uh, I always didn't like libraries. And you said, no, those are good places for you to go learn things. But uh, after that thing, finding books, I don't know if I ever want to go to the library again. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all well and fine, Kevin, but... Ao was also with us when we fought the behemoth. Ao was with us for a bunch of different fights. The Titan. Yeah, yeah. That didn't change. That didn't change their outlook on things. And that was honestly, most of those were. Titan was definitely way worse. Uh, it, maybe a ghoul did change a little bit, but I, I'll tell you the truth, Professor. A ghoul always seems super nice to me, so uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, but there was that one time with the dreams, not mine, but basically. Haunting the dreams of the uh, male and, and and just doing awful things in there. Mm. Think maybe like, uh, as, uh, do you think maybe the male rubbed off on the ghoul somehow? And like maybe like being so many times in in that dream that maybe the badness of uh, that uh, of uh, oh my god, my brain hurts so much. Well, well, Kevin, what is? What is the one thing that we ran into in the library that Cassette even warned us about? Books? No. We found something in a drawer that I was not very comfortable with, and even Cassette. Oh, yeah, those, those playing cards, right? Uh-huh. I, I, I'm told not to gamble. It's a, it's a bad way about going about things, unless you're gambling on fights. That, my, my pa always said... Fight like gambling, that's fine. All other gambling, that leads you to straight to the devil. Well, either way, we're we've got to stick together until we get out of this, and I might have an idea of what to do. But I, like I said, I need to do I need to do some fact finding before I can be sure. So while we're here, just keep an eye on Deus and keep the kids as occupied as you can. And that doesn't mean nope. by making them do work. No, nope, nope, Professor, I would never. I want to make sure that these kids are safe, well-fed, and protected, and we get them out of this horrible situation that they're in. Right, right, but none of, none of keeping them occupied includes, you know, putting them to work, any kind of character building like that. They've been through enough. Yeah, oh, I see what you're saying. No, they ain't my kids, Professor. Ain't, ain't for me to say that, but if they were my kids, it might be a different story. But I hear you. I'll let you... 
figure out what's going on with Millie. And in the meantime, I'll make sure those kids are safe. And I'll take a look at all those cards. Maybe if I flip through nope. the whole thing, there might be something like that. Nope, nope, nope. We're going to leave those cards where they are, Kevin. Um, I didn't like using them when we were on Eorzea. I don't want to do that now. If you say so, Professor, but I'm just saying, with my brain going in overdrive, maybe tomorrow morning I might be able to figure out something that can help with this, too. Kevin's going to have a stroke in the middle of the night. <laughs> Great. Uh, 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 until then, focus on the simple things, okay? You got it, Professor. All right, so I'll walk away and then kind of catch up with the kids and, and Deej. Hey, uh, Deej, you okay? Feeling better? Uh, yeah, yeah, Kevin, I feel better. I think this uh, night air is doing me some good. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, no worries, you got, got a little puke on my, on my chest there, but hey, it wipes right off, see? Uh, yeah. Did you just say he got it in his chest hair? Sorry about that, Kevin. I'll, I'll polish your armor later once we're in a safer place. Oh, no, you don't got to polish my armor. You know, uh, you, even though I like when you polish the tip of it, uh, you don't need to polish the tip right now, okay? Here, here's some here's some food. Uh, anytime I'm puking, uh, it always makes me feel better. And I hand you over some, um, I guess, chocobo jerky. <laughs> Give that up for photos. You sure it's chocobo jerky? Where'd you get this from? Oh, if it's uh, the no, jerky it's that Millie gave you, you're it's, 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 ampy, it's mammoth jerky. Oh, okay. All right. But Kevin doesn't know that. He just knows it's jerky. <laughs> okay. So, well, I'll, I'll trust you. And, 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 uh, just so you know, I talked to the professor about Millie. He, he thinks something's weird with her, too. So he's he's going to look into it. Uh, he said right now we should just focus on simple things and uh, keeping everyone safe. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep you and the kids safe right now. Okay. Yeah, make sure you keep an eye on Sol and Tavi, too. You know, I think what the problem with Millie is, is all that girly and military <laughs> training that she had. You know, they seem... They seemed way too comfortable with what was, was going on up on the the, the, the the rooftop. So, I yeah, agree. they're definitely keep keep an eye on on them. Keep an eye on everybody. Although I, I, yeah. I think having a strong military is always a good idea. Uh, you know, God bless them troops is what I'm saying. Bob, Bob bless them troops. But but uh, Professor was saying that that uh, Google kind of acted different when he was took those cars, those playing cars that we found. So tell the professor I wouldn't look at them, but maybe since you're so good with mechanics and, and you're so smart and stuff, maybe you should take a look at those cars and you can figure something that's going on with them. Oh, yeah, sure. I'd be happy to look at the cards. I've already took, like, what, three of them or something? So, uh, yeah, I can look at some more of them. Yeah, maybe look at all of them and, uh, you know, maybe it'll give a pattern on what's going on and what, how they transform. How, how far away are you guys right now? Uh, well, I don't know. Well, I was, I was out of your shot for your conversation with uh, Kevin, right? But you have the extra hear, hearing, so you should. You, I think you, you can be able to hear. Don't <laughs> touch the cards. Can he hear us? The fact that Deus also doesn't have that ability. I know. Right? Her ears are. Yeah, just so you know, <laughs> in, in my mind, uh, uh, Deus was leading the troop. You were in the, you and I, you were in the back. I came to the back to talk to you, and then I went back up to the front. That was in my mind. I don't. Yeah, yeah, that's how I, I thought about it yeah. too. Try to keep the kids safe and, and making sure there's no uh, yeah. patrols we run into. Exactly. Um, yeah. Um, oh, oh, okay, Professor. I, I won't do anything with the cards right now. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah the, uh, definitely don't touch them, and I wink at you. <laughs> I wink back. <laughs> That's all. That's, that's all I have right. right now. And I'm so sorry. Please don't touch the cards, Dia. <laughs> it's are bad. Well, we'll have to find who has well, them first. Mechanically, so. Deus cannot not draw more cards because it's a ones per like lifetime. Oh, perfect. So you have to announce how many you're going to take, and that's all you can take. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So keeping an eye on the kids and the eye on the street. So you guys have been walking back to the vehicle uh, for a bit now. So you're going to drive them to the quarry? No, well, no, I, no. I thought we were going to teleport them to the quarry. Right. Oh, teleport. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we, have, we, have alpha, we have alpha with us, right? Yeah. Right. So you just wanted to, to go to the barracks area to 
to send them from there? Yeah, no, no, because no, we wanted to exactly exactly. so, um, feed them first. We wanted a safe place to kind of let them rest and right. Yeah, we want a safe place. So kind of two things are happening, right? The professor is going to make enough good berries and water for them, so they're yes. going to be good for a couple months if need be. And then he's going to teleport them all, including teleporting whoever's not with us right now. So we'll probably Omega, Omega, Kevin. yeah, Kenji. Kenji uh, to go there. And the rest of you are still at the processing center. I think so. Right? Well, Saul, Tavi, and Millie are at the processing center. Everyone else will be returning to the processing center. I got center. that. Yeah. Okay. Um, just so you know, good berries only last the day that they're made. Um, so it's not, he's not going to have enough month, um, food for a month. Yeah, but it's one full day's food. Okay, and then I'll, I'll leave them with literally almost all of my supplies so that I only have like three days sparingly. Like, like okay. if I rationed it crazy to survive so they can have all the rest of my potatoes and jerky. Okay. Sprouty um... While while they all go to do that, I'll stay with the the crawler. Uh, I wanted to know if I could take a few minutes and try to meditate and possibly try to commune and contact Heidelin. Okay. The crawler? Do you mean the truck? Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, you try to meditate for a little while, but you do not hear her voice. Okay. Hey, Professor, if you need to poop, there's a hole, they said, out in the back. You were just kind of quiet, not moving there, and, you know, sometimes that happens to me. Uh, I'm okay, Kevin. I was just... It's one of the things that I was trying to do to find answers. Pooping? I find a lot of answers when I poop. <laughs> no, I, I was I was meditating, Kevin. All right, well, if you need help... Uh... We've got the kids ready. Um, thanks for the water and the good bears. I told them what to do, and I think we're ready to send them. And uh, Alfie's going to help. So okay. keep meditating. That's what Ken does too, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't think there's any point in just being silent on purpose. It's weird. You'd be surprised how valuable silence is, Kevin. Nope. I, I don't think so, Professor, but uh, good luck with that. <laughs> All right, kids have been transported, I assume. Okay, so Alpha will draw one of his cards and he'll look at you like, hey, you ready? Like, can I send them now? Um, and you give the signal and Alpha just kind of throws one of the cards and it hits Kenji. Um, and then a big circle around Kenji, <laughs> everybody gets teleported. Hey, Alpha? Are, are you from here? He just kind of pulls his wing up to his, his chin and tilts his head and shrugs. That's about as good an answer as anything we've had so far, so... Hey, instead of walking back, I figure we could take uh, the the, cra the big crawler. Uh, you called it was a, a V-hackle. And uh, the, then we had we easier way to come back, too, in case we need it or if we need a fight for some reason. Well, do you, do you know how to drive it? I mean, I, I watched Soul for a little bit, but... <laughs> I figured it out, Professor. I'm pretty good at these things. <laughs> you know what? Um, why don't you let... I, I, I think Deus needs to keep her mind taken off of what was going on, so why don't you let me and, and Deus take care of it, huh? Uh, uh, good thinking, Professor. Good thinking. Uh, okay. like, I'm going to try to remember what watching Soul do. <laughs> Well, sure. You know what button turns it on. The rest um, is up to you. Do you have vehicle proficiency? Probably not. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say just make a tools check, like general tool check. Um, yeah. Oh, I'll say you can do this, Professor, and give you guidance. <laughs> based on the... Um, attribute. The tools are based on the attributes. Yeah, because so like, some tools are strength, some tools are dex. This would be... This would be an intelligence-based tool, I would say. And guidance is what? Uh, D4. I don't know He's driving in probably Dex. Uh, understanding how to drive would be intelligence. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's not so much about turning the wheel, it's about knowing what buttons to press to get it in motion. 
Intelligence, you say? Uh, 16. Wisdom is fine, too, if you'd rather do wisdom, because you were the wisdom has to do with memory, and you were watching Soul do it. So. Then 17. Okay. Um, it's not the smoothest ride, um, but you are able to, after a moment or two, figure out exactly what kind of pressure you have to exert and when, uh, when and where. Um, and so I understand you're driving it up to the processing center. Yeah. Close, close to it, like not like right next to it, but like close enough so we can get to it. Uh, it is still be... Yeah. Okay. Um, sure. You get there real quick then with how fast the truck goes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Doesn't take you long to get back. Um, are you going to climb back up to the roof and go through the hatch or are you going to try to enter another way? I figured uh, at least the three of us would be on the roof waiting. Yeah, if they're still waiting, then we would climb back up on the roof. If anything, I could just pull them back up, uh, fly sure. them, if, if there's no easy way. Well, I have the rope that I yeah, let. The rope, the rope was enough. It, it's a tall, it's, it's, uh, it's a small height. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's not easy to just scale by itself, but with the rope, it's not, it's not difficult. It's not treacherous. treacherous, like the Thank cliff you. that Thank we you. left yes. the holder cave in. Exactly. Um, especially at your level. Uh, so getting back up to the top, you're all reunited. What's the plan? And it don't feel good. All right, so uh, it looks like all the kids will be safe for now. Uh, plan went perfectly. Uh, and I'm kind of looking at Millie. Yeah, how you feeling, Millie? Cool. Um, a little dirty, but fine. There's just purple blood, like, all over half her body from when she chainsawed the dude's head off. I'm gonna I'm gonna press to digitate that. <laughs> you can see a little bit of dried vomit on Kevin's armor. Um, cool. Well, yeah, Not so gonna get that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, since we're gone, did you figure out a better plan? Are we supposed to? No, I just figured, you know, with the, uh, you know, 30 minutes to an hour downtime you had, you might have you talked to each other and, you know, figured something out. But no worries. If my brain can, can probably handle it. If I die, then no, it was war worthy cause. Well, in hindsight, that might have been a good idea, but I think we were just relaxing. Did you see anything else? Did anything else happen while we were gone? Like, any ships fly above us or, or whatnot? No. Any alarm sounded? Nope. Did, did you were you looking in the room? Did anyone come and see that there were, you know, no guards missing? Like nobody nope. came in the room. Seemed all, right. all quiet. Nobody oh. chose to investigate. Makes me think that these two might have been the uh, only ones in charge of processing. So then I think uh, what we do is uh, we take our, our two stealthiest people to yeah. come and we go one room at a time, right? Like <laughs> welcome. Oh, Bob, you look. So what, so you, you said you're our two stealthiest people and do what, John? Yeah, we go one room at a time. So the two stealthy people go in, check everything out, uh, they come back if there's trouble. If not, go forward and then motion us to come on through. And we just mm -hmm. do one room at a time till we're to the second room, which is where the the, the mind it, the mind putting things in the head thing room, and uh, we, f we figure out what's going on there. Sound like a plan? Well, that sounds fair enough. So, Deus and I then will sneak our way into the first room and see what we see. See if we can't find it. At least what the uh, guards implied was that it would be memory modification first and then bomb implantation second. So, if we head inside, we'd hopefully find the memory device. And if the room's all clear, we could all come in and try to figure out how it works, what it does. Maybe it's reversible. And then I was thinking maybe you there. take into with you, did you say feeling so well? I bet you it was the soup. Soup? I get rid of the soup. It, oh, see, it, there you go. It, the soup. It's on Kevin's thing. Or it was. <laughs> uh, anyone want to fill in Adam with what you're doing? Nope. I'm not listening. We're sneaking around. All right, so <laughs> we're in. Like, what, what knowledge do you have of our shenanigans so far? Uh, the spore crimes? 
Oh, okay. Okay. All you need to know. We, we jumped in a crater that seems to have, but is not yet confirmed, to have taken us back in time. Oh, I know that. I was there right. when we got into the, the, the Transformer and shot at the dragon. No, watch the jet fire oh, shoot right. the dragon. Oh, okay. right. Okay. So, now we're basically, we had a building, we found the processing building, which okay. is where they wipe the memories of the incoming slaves and put the bombs in their chest. Oh, you skipped over the part where you found out they have slaves. He saw the dragon. You didn't oh, yes. get the, the episode. Oh, oh I okay, mean, right. There's one. Yeah. yeah so can... basically, all, there's the Alligans, they're the Masters, and then the lesser races are all our races. Lalafels, Rogadin, Makote, so on. Uh, though no Garlians that we've seen. It's mm. not right. Correct, you've not seen any yeah. Garlians. We, we shouldn't be equal with Lalafell. They're clearly below all the other races. <laughs> wow. Right. Wow. Um, You're a Lalafell. <laughs> but I so, um, the truth, we man. spoke with a number of them. Uh, one chose to be the forefront of them, uh, 11283. They have numbers, they don't have names, they don't remember their past, all the good stuff. Um, they, the slaves believe that the bombs in their chest can be impl- uh, exploded based off what they're thinking, which was determined to be false because Deus convinced 11283 to go think seditious thoughts next to one of the guards, and they did not explode, and then the guard just shanked him with the trident, and they died immediately. <laughs> Um, you got XP for that. Right? <laughs> I would think so. Um, so then Deus Miles and Miles. Millie went to uh, basically the uh, the group of masters, a, th- a group of three masters came to get the, the next the night shift essentially, grabbed them, brought them to elsewhere to work. Uh, we waited a little bit, then followed behind, found the process, uh, Deus and Millie found the processing building, which is where they do the memory modification and bomb implantation. Uh, there was a room full of kids, like 12-ish and below, um, that had not had, they had some memory wipe, but not a full memory wipe, and no bombs yet. So Millie freed one of them, got a little bit more information, and then we ambushed the two guards that were in rotations, come like one would grab a person and leave, the other one would come and grab a person and leave. We ambushed one, waited, ambushed the other. Millie war crime interrogated them, and got us some information about numbers, what's in the building, okay. what the moon is for, that they they basically had this, ju- like, oh, literally, right, that, the that, moon, the, Bahamut. The, set, the lesser Change. moon, they yeah. shoved the Bahamut in it, which Bahamut is basically, remember Titan? Yeah, the, bi- uh, the big dragon. Yeah. Right, but specifically, Bahamut is not a dragon. Bahamut is the primal summoned by the dragons, just the same way that Titan was a primal summoned by the Aurok. Yeah. A little bit of backstory, Bahamut used to be the king of the dragons, but he was murdered by Alligans, and so they enslaved a bunch of dragons and made them, like, pray fervently for their king to yeah, come back. tortured down, them, which for, made, yeah, but tortured them, but gave them magic uh, batteries so that they could summon the magical version of them, which is not, it's not like a resurrection, it's like the idealized image of this thing from their perspective. And it, yeah, so it's a primal, it's like Titan. No, it's yeah, just like Titan, uh, Leviathan. And do we know why? The, the Alligans forced their yes, slaves Yes, because to they summon. shoved it in the moon, they're going to send it to the sky, and it's basically like a giant ether collection disc in the sky, oh. because the, the space is full of ether, and then they will channel it from the moon with Bahamut in it into the crystal tower that we saw when we got here. And there you go, there's our unlimited energy for life. Oh boy, I'm glad the slave knew all of this. No, oh no, that, that was, was part of the guards. Yeah. The, this, all the slave knew is that we're here building this thing. Oh. The guards that Millie War crimed told that information. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm glad that the lowly, like, day-to-day guards know all this. that the thing that captured I'm looking for my name of uh, Omega? I uh, believe I asked it that. You yeah. knew that, okay. Because you saw you, you saw it during Legend Lore, okay, and then you right, saw the same. Right, and I thought you told us. Okay, okay. And, yeah, previously. yeah. Because then when I, I can't remember if that was like an out of character or in character no. thing. No, well, yeah, because mm-hmm. at least I thought you had told us. So then when Millie asked the guards about it, she asked a couple questions about mm-hmm. Omega. Um, the guard, the lowly guard, does not know the origin of Omega or its full potential, but just that it works for its our. Our no. thing. They said that they built it to be this. Yeah. No, no, like they don't. They don't. brother built it. Oh. Well, no, no. I thought they, the Alligans brother built the sphere. Yes. Yeah. Well, like, he's the lead designer of the sphere. Right. They said Omega was built by the Alligans. They just didn't oh. know the specifics. Yeah. Of gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I like to fight. I'm Omega. Omega Not that Omega. This is, this this is Omega, Omega, the flying, flying scarab-looking robot mm-hmm. thing. Did you see the picture I sent to oh, that? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, because basically, idea. big dragon shows up, robot flies away, knocks the dragon out of the sky. That is Omega. And is Alpha still with us? Who? Alpha? Yes. 
Alpha, yes, Alpha. So you also have a, do you remember Alpha? GB oh, Chocobo. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, oh, Omega, oh Jesus. That's why I was <laughs> Yeah, so Alpha's helped us with alpha. some um, stealth, like they have, they, they, they kind of look like the Astrologian cards. Have we war crime interrogated Alpha yet? No. <laughs> did, did they tell you the extent why? of the war crimes? Why? Uh, well, so far, Al uh, Alpha has been very helpful to us. He got us all our gear back, which was missing when we jumped into the crater. He got he basically pulled out a card, and then poof, all the gear showed up. As well as a bunch of other stuff that seemingly was thrown in the crater. <laughs> this is Omega. Yeah. 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 Big scary bar. Including an unopened canister of nerve gas okay. from the Black Rose Island. Okay. Um, so, strange person says, hey, here's all the yep. stuff you need, and we say, yes, yep. this guy's yeah. clearly Nothing, on our I mean, side. We have asked Alpha, like, if they're from here, yeah. and... Thought I made it clear the stuff that Alpha showed you was everything that had been thrown in. Yeah, the yeah, that's what I said. So it was, it was our stuff as well as anything else that had been dumped in there. So uh, most of it was junk. The, the only thing of note that David mentioned, other than our gear, was the container of Black Rose. Okay. Black Rose is uh, war crime poison, basically. Yeah, it basically erases a person's ether, so their body is so dead that it doesn't even decay because no bacterial life is present. And they don't return to the ethereal sea, which is yeah. the afterlife for a resurrection. Yeah. I wanted to take it. It was too large. How uh, is it? That's like a barrel, right? It's like a depth charge. Not very big. But, but bigger than like a bag of holding. Wood. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. The war crimes uh, interrogation consisted of... So the Allegans had metal teeth for either aesthetic or practical purposes. They chewed oh. the shit out of Kevin's arm. So Millie cast heat metal on their teeth. Um, and then... Pretty fucked up. Uh, one of them had a chopper on it that seemed to vibrate, like it had something, some energy within it, and had a little slider. She turned the slider, and it basically spins as a chainsaw, and it extends. She put that one in their mouths, took the head off, and then she used the same poison that she accidentally, unintentionally, to that extent, poisoned Deus and Kevin with, and <laughs> fed it to the last one after he answered all their questions. Yeah, it was basically cyanide. Yeah, That's and nice. then, so, uh, Sid was translating during that, because he's the only one who has comprehend languages, uh, Dea saw the initial heat metal part, then went downstairs, because this was on the roof, away from the kids. Um, Deus then fled downstairs, because horrific things are happening up there. Um, saw comfort with Kevin. Soul and Tavi were seemingly on the roof, in front but... Of the kids. Uh, oh! The kids present. Wait, in front of the kids? No! The, no, no, no Millie specifically took the guards away from the kids to enjoy No, I'm talking about the seeking of comfort. Yeah. <laughs> Not that kind. Of yes. Oh, I don't know. Um, it's all its interpretation. Yeah. Um, Theater of but the yeah, Sol and, so basically, Sol, Tavi, and Sid were on the roof with Millie for the extent of the interrogation. The questions that we had answered were, <laughs> where's the memory mo modification tech two rooms down? How many Alligans are in this building? 74. The whole dragon moon thing. Um, how, do remote, how do the remote control explosives work? There's basically a controller. You point it at a target or an area and it blows them up. There is no way to successfully disarm them that they're aware of because why would they program that? Um, they do not believe that the uh, long distance transport that happened when we jumped in the crater, how it looked like the whole ground was shifting underneath us. They don't believe that was possible, nor do they believe time travel is possible. These are also just guards. Um, and then there's also a tram underneath this building that connects to the other buildings. And then there is a giant tunnel on the site as a whole that connects underground directly to the Crystal Tower. And one of those buildings is the Armory. Yes, which is the, quote, most heavily guarded part of the encampment when Millie inquired about uh, sneaking in and stealing um, shit. Yeah, small tangent just because something that you reminded me brought. Uh, it brought me back. One of my first D&D campaigns... Oh, this I, brings me back. <laughs> yeah, one of the first D&D campaigns I played in, I was with a bunch of murder hobo thieves, right? They weren't actually rogues, but they were <laughs> acting like it. And we came across a Dwarven open-air bank. So it's like, they wanted to show off their gold. You can go, you can touch it, you can walk around, and then you couldn't take Dubai. it. Goodbye. Right. So one of, one of, one of our people decides to, um, uh, decides to shove some coins up his ass so he could walk out with them without them noticing. Because <laughs> he sees that they've got these wands where they're, they're like checking out what everybody's got. And uh, as we're leaving... The wand goes off as it's near his ass, and the wand, it, it's its its like a detection wand, but it's heat metal detection. So oh. if there's any metal, it gets heated, and it was inside of his ass. Uh, I love it. That is amazing. He died guy. from his wounds. Oh, boy. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Anyway. You gotta, you gotta teach the murder hobo somehow, you know? Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we're back to the game. So now you're all caught up. Everybody's on the roof right now. Literally, uh, as you walked in, we took came. the kids. Yeah. Uh, most of the group took the kids, and then Alpha teleported them and Kenji and Omega because they're not here to basically and the cassette. kids and cassette. So all the kids and them are in the quarry that we originally landed at because it seemed abandoned, and there's like some tunnel structure from the mining operation that was there. So they can hopefully hide out there. Sid made good berries and water for everyone, so they've got a, at least a day's worth of food and water. Do our our link pearls work? No, link pearls do not work. They uh, stopped working as soon as the, you guys saw the explosion in the sky. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Link pearls have been broken now for a Bro. solid day. It's so, been at least two days. So Alpha allegedly transported them back to the quarry. Allegedly. Yeah, or just completely murked Kevin or Kenji Omega and Cassette. <laughs> Sorry guys, we're all new characters when you come back. Alpha's a serial killer. <laughs> I don't trust Alpha. Uh, yeah. So that's where we're at. The current plan is we're all now at the top of the building, of the processing building. We're in Deus and Inti then, by Ke at Kevin's suggestion. I've been so sneaky, no one saw me. The whole the yeah, building. right? We'll go inside, try to find the memory building, a uh, room, and see what is... The, is it guarded? Is it not? Can we go fiddle around with it? Okay. And, so, okay. and that's where we're at right now. Sweet. I'm on board. I'm paying attention. I'm just looking for my character sheet. <laughs> oh, I think I've got the photos in there. If you look in our chat, I think yeah, okay, they're there so recently. Do you know what day it was? What day is it? What day is it? What, what year is it? <laughs> okay. Oh, caught up, though. It's, it's still nighttime, by the way. We talk a lot. We're buddies. Okay. All right. So, um, Inti and who else was going? Sorry, I missed that. Inti Millie. Millie. Okay. Day is specifically is not... Unless she's not going to agree with what Kevin said. Oh, no, no. Not, uh, agrees with Kevin. And as soon as they leave, I turn to Kevin and say, thank you. Are you guys going to do anything else while they're gone? Or are you just stay on the roof? No, no. So we're coming down. We're going to the door. And we're kind of like waiting for them to like clear a room, say it's safe to come in, and then go forward, right? We're watching Got things it. happen, but kind of staying out of view. Yeah. yeah that sounds good. There it is. Okay. There it is. Was that? You got it. Okay. Um, yeah, so you guys go downstairs. Uh, the first door, you know that there's um, a door that the guards were coming in and out of. There was one other door in this room that you haven't gone through yet that led towards what looked like the entryway of the building. Um, but this room that you're in, this is where the holding cells were. This is where you captured the elf. Right. Oh, sorry. The only other room we've seen so far is on, like, the beginning room, where we peeked through a window and saw there are three Alligans on what appears to be a computer station with some data slates that we know as tombstones. Um, those are the only Alligans we've seen in the building, but we also have not seen the vast majority of the building. But there's 74 of them. That's what the guard said. Yes. 72 now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, too. Well, I, mean, the, point. The, were at I don't remember if he said other Alligans or Alligans in this building. Okay. So I you mean, asked how many Plus Alligans. or minus one. Okay. <clears throat> but you also... He was a guard. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. So, are you going into the door that they were coming out of? Is that your... That seems the only door to okay. go to. Are you you're snel you're being stealthy? Yes. I need you to roll stealth checks, please. Here's a die. How'd you decide I hear? What? I just decided on a stealth attack. Oh, wow. I thought, oh, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> I rolled a two already. But you need dice. Thank you. But I rolled a two already. I'll take it. Or you yep. can use yep. these. That's good. Prefer. Yep. Yeah, I threw for the nasty bag. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a mystery bag. Mystery so bag. this is, this is uh, like, it's more than 10. But. Uh, Are you pushing and stuff? Yeah. What? 31. <laughs> 12. Okay. 12? Oh, yeah. That's still a solid oh, bonus to sell. Yeah. Well, you got max dex, and for, if you are proficient, that's oh, at yeah. least plus a 12? plus 9 bonus. Yeah. And you rolled what? I rolled a 2. No, no, I rolled a 2. I have a plus 10. So 12 total? Yeah, 12 total. Okay. How do you have a plus 10? That doesn't seem mathematically possible because our proficiency bonus is four, your dex oh. is twenty, so it'd be plus oh, no, nine no, no, no. Plus or nine, higher. Plus nine, plus nine, plus nine. Okay. Right. I thought I thought it was plus five. No, nope, that's next level. So that means if you rolled a two, so I have an 11. eleven. Okay. Well, um, Millie 
kind of silently opens the door and Indy is just kind of like in awe at how large everything is and looking around you see a bunch of machinery that could be trapped. You kind of just bump into Millie and knock her into the door and it slams open into an empty room. This picture like the jingling in your pockets from money. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't in that one. But oh, I'm sorry. No, yeah. I, I so got too the, the room is empty, but what's in here, it appears that there are operating tables um, that with straps on them to hold people down. And there's a, like, a considerable amount of blood just like dried on the operating tables. Uh, but nobody's in here. Are they, like, how big are the, is, is it Lollafell size, human size? The All, tables? Yeah. They're like slightly bigger than Viera height. Or Ella's in height. Ella's in are taller than Viera, right? Yeah, yeah so Ella's in height. And... Yeah, so like Ella's in. It's enough to fit any of the I always get that backed up because like, I haven't played an Ella's in, in this game, and I, oh, hardly anyone does, so I don't really see them very often, except for like, uh, but I always see the tall races are like Viera, Rogadin, that kind of thing. Is it too, is it too big for children? No, I mean, it looks like it, they can adjust the straps oh, to one size anybody. fits all. One size fits all. That's what and just to be clear, the people that you rescued, some of them might be children, but that doesn't mean that everybody that becomes their slaves are children. Yeah, just this particular batch was. Young. They looked younger, but not infants or anything like that. Yeah, because yeah, I think it was like eight, like 12 to eight was the range of this I particular think, I think group. That's right. There oh, are. Doing journal this week. Yeah, I don't want to do the journal. Yeah. Do you really? That's, I have no time. Mike, you want to do it? Uh, I would prefer to do it when I'm on vacation in a couple of weeks, if possible. Sure. Yeah. Who do we want? Eric? Think you can do it? Probably not me. Hey, what about Tim Curry? Tim Curry could do it. Tim Curry. No, he's in space. 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 That's the entire journal. <laughs> <laughs> no capitalism. No, <laughs> that's the only place you can't get them. If you will never go to so, space. So no, nobody's able to do journal this week that hasn't done Bahamas it recently. Goes to space. No. I, I know just, you're busy. I, I know. I, 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 I can do it again, but it's going to be depressing. Well, that's the best kind of well, it could be a part two, because I mean, last I week's off. wasn't super long, was it? I haven't read yours yet. No, it's only five pages. Okay, that's kind of long. Do you want to do this week too? I, I can do this week. I mean, I'm gonna either do one. If, it, if it's down to either one of us, then I am second most recent because you did it last week. I did it the week before, mm -hmm. so I could do this week then. Okay, sure, sounds good. Sorry, guys. Um, I just need a couple of my shows done before I can start jumping back in the journal. Understood. <laughs> Gotta catch up on Netflix. <laughs> I wish that's what I had. <laughs> that's a little <laughs> joke. <laughs> All right, uh, so. If that's the case, uh, this room has three doors other than the one that you went through. There's two on the uh, the east side of the wall. There's one on the north, and then the one you came through, which is the west wall. So there's four doors in this room. Three other than the one you went through. So yes. Mm. 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 Memory modification already had. Uh, right. How many doors? Oh, how many doors? <clears throat> there are four lights. I have yeah. Well, it seems that this must be where they perform the, the, the what are you, company culture indoctrination. Hmm? What's that called? The people who took the kids to uh, the quarry, uh -huh. or at least that group that left initially was Sid, Deus, Kevin, then Omega Kenji Cassette. Mm -hmm. Are you, you're at the quarry now? Oh, no, no, we went to the quarry. No, we we went, yeah, the only ones that stayed, yeah, like, you, they went to the barracks where we had first met the, the slaves, and then half of them came back. I'm just retroactively fixing my notes for the... For the the rest of us still out this way. Yeah, yeah we're waiting in the out. room until they click for us, I guess. Yeah, okay. So we're in a room. It's got doors. Ah, let's... All right. Yep, the best of us. Um, well, it seems we have multiple options of the next one to go. I don't think we're going to find anything interesting in here, Millie. It seems that the north door is leading in a different direction from where we came. Perhaps that's where we should go? 
Well, it's got to be one of them. They said it was two doors in from where we were, so this any one of them is door number two. Well, let's go listen to them and see if there's anything perhaps behind them. All right. Perception, investigation to listen. Uh, where are you listening? The, each of the doors. Okay. Yeah, sure. Invest er, perception's fine. I'll, give you, I'll help you with that okay, so you can get advantage. Okay. This I'm really Ooh, that's a 20. Nat 20. Nat 20. Nice. Nat 20. So that's 30. That makes up for that too. That makes up for that too. 30 something. You still don't have a level 1 number. Jesus, 30 something? <laughs> Not even close. Um, I'll just use that for all three doors. For the sake of time. So the north door, you hear what sounds like machinery whirring. Um, it's in a constant pattern. Why are you burying your face in your hands, Mike? That was Yoni. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, what about machinery made in various places? I'm trying to think what we did now. Like, yeah. what have we done? Okay, uh, you don't hear any voices in there. Okay, no voices in there. Um, yeah, but you do hear the machinery, and it, it seems to be like clockwork. That it's you hear sounds like in okay, normal it's a, interval. It's a regular, it's yeah. periodic. Okay. Um, the northwest door. So it's on the west wall, but it's northernmost. <clears throat> um, you're listening through that, and you don't hear anything. On the other side. Um, uh, why do we have clothes on? So, murder. All the bears are murder. With just the OCD tendencies. Okay. All right. Um, and then the southwest door, you hear. Um, it sounds like machinery, but at a much slower rate and different kind of machinery than you heard at the north. Have two doors that have machines in them, and another one that appears to have nothing at all. I wager it's right. one of the rooms with machinery. Then, um, uh, well, one of, it sounds like one of the machines is working at a little faster, a little more productive, more efficient. While the other one is, you know, taking its time. I want to go for the noisier room first. Yes, we have the machine of the month and the slacker machine. Let's go for it. It just strikes me that the. Uh, Subtlety is not really big on the Allegan, so if they're doing some type of device that messes with people's minds, they put zero effort into making it quiet or subtle, or in any way a pleasing experience for those I mean, to. they don't quite have unlimited energy now, so I would expect they would want to have some sort of efficiency with how they're mind-controlling the Well, maybe efficiency in powering, but not necessarily efficiency in comfort. Oh, uh, yes. It's a big, loud, scary machine. No problem to them, because they're not in it. Yes, but of course the big scariness adds a adds a sort of brand appeal to it, right? That they'd soon forget, so that seems a little wasted effort. I, I bet I mean, <laughs> you gotta have a strong brand. <laughs> All right, well, loud door then. Let's go to the loud door. <laughs> Are right. you guys gonna let us know that yeah. this okay. <laughs> oh, I was gonna wait until we got uh, oh, okay. two rooms in and then call for people. Okay. Open the door to the north. Yes. <clears throat> Uh, quiet. Stealth. Yeah, the quiet roll. Go ahead and roll stealth. Okay. There we go. That's not too. Eighteen. Twenty-seven. You roll two dice. I have advantage from my cloak of elven kind. Ooh. Twenty-seven and eighteen. Then disadvantage on hearing me on top of that. You're able to <clears throat> quietly open the door. This one doesn't swing. It slides. Neat. Um, and it makes a <laughs> sound as it goes. Um, looking into this room. It doesn't look like it's memory modification going in here. It looks like, for lack of a better word, it's an assembly line. Um, and you see a bunch of Allegans in there, and they all appear to be wearing something on their ears that's glowing. Um, but they're, they're, a lot of them are bobbing their heads or nodding along, but nobody's really talking. Um, and they appear to be assembling something. It looks like Bionicles. It looks like what? weapons. Weapons. Wearing headphones, effectively. Yeah. That's what they look like. I, I would actually say glowing earmuffs. Yeah. Time travel. Beats by, yeah. <laughs> Beats by zombie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for our purposes, they'll be the same. Okay. Yeah. It's expired instantly. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, no, they, they would never have been born. <laughs> <laughs> they just completely. They turn into back seeds. In the, yeah. yeah. It's not a potato gun. Now. Wait, are there seeds for? There's no seeds. It's a root, right? What? Uh, yeah. For potatoes? Uh, yeah, they're roots. They're roots. Yeah. 
So there's they're, a little itty bitty baby. Potato, they're so. tubers. Two, yeah. So they would grow underground. But so where does the root come from? I mean, it, it must be there must be potato seeds that are different. Though. No, you're right because they flower if you let them grow. Yeah. yeah. So they have, there are potato seeds. Okay. Because they can't. Well, they, they, they you grow a potato from another potato. The eyes sprout. Where'd the first potato come from? Is the question. Magic. Yeah. Right, but then they but they grow plants and flower if you actually let them grow. Kevin's. So this is a good no point. point flowering if there's if no point, no pollination. Knows. Yeah, John, John knows. John knows. Book of Bob. Anyways, uh, Fox of the Colony are in here. Everything. You know, uh, uh, the potatoes are grown from a, a special seed called the potato seed. Which is cut into pieces, and sometimes it's left whole or planted in the ground. That's why you can make a potato off of another potato. Uh, the pieces of the potato grow from the stems and the roots from the eyes, and because they're able to feed from you know the energy of the sun, uh, the potato plant grows fast right from the start. Kevin is actually with us, yelling that, but none of them can hear because of their headphones. Right, right. Um, how many are in this room? At least twenty of them that you can see. This is again. This building is like an Amazon warehouse size. Yeah, it's very big. Does any of them look like the supervisor or the foreman? No. But all of them look different, but they all have various uh, body models. Yeah, every Allegan we've seen so far has had some distinction about them in terms, like they have crystals and metal implanted in their bodies for cosmetic and or practical purposes, and they're all different looking. I feel so out of place by not having money. I think it's safe to say this isn't where the, the room where that's happening. It's now. But, um, but good, good to know. I wonder what kind of weapon they're making, though. Well, okay. the ones I took off the guards were very fun looking. Okay, well, they do appear to be like pistols. From where we are, how f far is it to get to an assembled one? You would have to cross the entire room. Mm -hmm. Basically, where you are, you're in the entry area where the lockers are, and you have to move all the way over to the machinery to get to. Oh, we're by the lockers? No, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you an If example. it was a real. Yeah. Are there any locks on any of these doors or anything? No. Why would they? Yeah. All right. Well, let's... not this. Let's go to the slow, slow machine. All right. Slowly, quietly close the door. <laughs> okay. Uh, in the, are you slowly opening the door to the yeah. slow machines? Okay. I need another stealth check. Ah! Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. Thirty. You open this door again without trouble, and it Which slides open. With this, one? this is the, the, the southernmost west door. It's on the western wall, but it's the southernmost one. Gotcha. Uh, the western wall. Oh, gosh. I've actually been there. Have you? Oh, no. It's the only place where I've ever felt any kind of religious in my life, it's and zero. it wasn't that much, but it was it was the only thing. More than zero. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so when you open this up, there's nobody in here, uh, but what you see is you see a couple of shafts with a lift going up and down in it. Yeah, like the, the elevators actually in elevators in, oh. in motion. Uh, well, it, it, it's like an unprotected like lift platform, so right. there's nothing on the sides of it. It's just like stand on it, it goes up and down yeah. kind of thing. And this looks like one of them had just come back up. Uh, and that's that's very clearly making the sound that you heard. Right, the slow... Does anyone here speak or read Allegan at the moment? At the moment, no. Sit, right. okay. yeah, I can read it a few times a day for ten minutes, but I have one use of that left. Okay. There, there are signs above each one, and they look like different writing. Hmm. All right, I'll just write down what I see so I can bring it back. Okay. <clears throat> Well, it's not this one, so perhaps the last quiet And there's one. multiple? So two. 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 What? And one just came up. Two elevators. Then I guess we go back to the, f the final door. N this room, by the way, has several other doors. Oh. It looks like it's attached to several other okay, doors. Sure. But we, the, the guard said it should be two yeah. doors. Open. So let's go check the last one. Yeah, there we go. 26. 29. Okay. 
Uh, last door opens much like the others. Um, from here, you can see that there is, uh, there are, excuse me, two large alligans in this room. Um, and they, they have their backs to you at the moment. And one of them is like on the far side of the room. It's, it's rectangular and it's pretty long. One of them is pretty close to your side of the room and he has a, like a tombstone, a data slate that he's uh, typing on. Um, and then you just see row after row after row uh, of these tubes with water inside. And you see a lot of races that look like you guys Ooh. just suspended in these tubes at the Ooh. moment. How, how many is a lot? More than five? Yeah, uh, like several hundred. Oh. And the thing that strikes you is they're in various stages of growth. Little, little, little bitty bitty to... Some of them look like, you know, a little bit bigger than a fetus. Others look like fully grown. Uh, fully grown as in adults or as in well, like full babies? Adolescents. Uh, I would say, yeah, adolescence okay. is probably the closest thing to it. Um, but none of them seem awake. This is by far the best recruitment firm I've ever seen. <laughs> well... Now it begs the question, which of those rooms could possibly be the one where they modify the memories? Because it certainly isn't the room with the... I, well, I mean, this room has a lot, of, uh, a lot of doors attached to it as well. So, uh, Millie, uh, from what I understand... Let's well, take this conversation let's take this over. Let's <laughs> for a second. Yeah, just, just for clarification, does it look like they're growing people? <laughs> it very much looks like that, yes. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah so, as 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 a little Kevin sounding voice in my head just said, uh, are we sure that they're actually capturing these slaves and then modifying memories or well, building at least the batch trash? that we rescued had said that they came from a separate island and then were taken from there to here. Uh, do we know that those memories of the old island were theirs or were they added as some sort of onboarding process? It's possible, but it seems a little backwards to do it. We're not in that room currently, right? No, we closed yeah. the door and are now in the main empty room. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're... It seems a little unnecessary to give them fake memories of things that they don't remember, like the one that we talked to said she remembers being on an island called Corvos, not Corvus. Um, Still on crows. Yeah. Uh, but she can't really remember much beyond that, so it seems a little, like, why bother giving them that little bit of information? Perhaps it keeps them... It keeps them grounded, maybe. Grounded? I, I, I cannot say I... But I, also, the building very specifically says on the outside of it, memory modification and processing. Uh, yes. So, and considering it's an alligator, uh, and I doubt they teach yes. them to read. Yes, you're right. Perhaps, perhaps the first generation of workers came from that, and now they're just you know, tired of outsourcing. Well, they could be tired of outsourcing, have multiple sources of uh, workers, grow some, I, I, harvest some. Do we know if this is debt-related slavery, or are these chattel slaves? Because I, I think, uh, at a moral point, if these are debt-related slaves, I cannot continue trying to save them. Well, considering none of the ones that we rescued were anywhere near the age of consent to even accrue debt of their own, I'm inclined to think it wasn't that. It depends on all sorts of legal things. I forgot. For instance, in Ishgard, you can start taking out loans when you're three. The two of you, while you're in this room, or are you telling the others to come in? Not yet. Okay. We're still having some conversations. Since you're having that conversation, I want both of you to roll an investigation check. Oh, I'm good at this. Is it for traps? No. Oh, there's the two again. Ha. Huh. Um, no, 11, not bad. Six, five, eight. Okay, carry on. Okay. Um, did any of the clones in the tubes look familiar, like the ones that were more grown, like if they were exam or not even that they're clones? They looked say. like races that you're familiar with. But not like, okay, oh, but, but I clearly saw that one in a cage five minutes oh, ago. Oh, they're not, they're not copies, but we did see enough L's and Rogan and whatever. No. Yeah, uh, a, a broad. I mean, you did not get close enough to the tubes to get like really accurate information of what was in there. Some are tall, some are not tall. Yeah. Well, do we want to bring the rest of them in here then? Yes, it seems that way. Hit a bit of a dead end. All right, and then I'll get the clicker going to say for everybody to come meet us down here. Which you could literally just open the door and say, "Hey." <laughs> well, we're one room in. We'd have to go we're one room back the and the then clicker. go. Hey. Right. Doing the clicker. So. Uh, you do the clicker. I'm assuming everybody that was on the roof 
is gonna come down now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we weren't on the roof. We were in the doorway, kind of waiting. What I like, thought. Yeah. So we'll go to the first room. Do we see? Do we see anything in the first room that's like worth stopping to look at? The room where they're in? No, no. Because because we're in. You are in the basically the cage room. Now we are in the middle room. So oh, okay. which room are you trying to? Okay, so we open up the door, the, the only door we could have opened up. We go through that room. That's where into oh, and Millie are. There. Cool, perfect. Yeah. Hey, hey, you all right? All right, so we've got three doors. That one leads to what looks to be a uh, assembly line for weapons. Yep. Um, at least 20 elegans in there. Probably don't want to be in a room where they're making weapons. Um, then that door leads to what looks like several elevators that... Uh, there's two of them. Couldn't read them. Uh, sit hey, if you want to get stop there. Uh, what's an elevator? It's a little metal platform that you stand on and it rises you up towards another floor. Think Kevin, of it like automated stairs. You would you would know what an elevator is, Kevin, because the cliffside lift where they lowered. Oh the no, we call it a lift. Two lifts lift? in there. Oh god, I got it. Got it. Um, I couldn't read what they said, but uh, if Sid wanted to re-up that comprehend languages, he could uh, read the labels on that one. Um, and then this last room, it appears that there, there's two elegans in there, and they appear to be growing people in giant glass jars. They were what? Other people, specifically. The lesser races. Okay, uh, I'm, okay, that makes no sense. Okay, first off, I, 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 Bob makes people, and, and people come from babies, and babies come from mothers, uh, you don't grow people, really. I'm not saying that they were grown from scratch. They might have been harvested as wee babes and then put in jars for some reason. We did see them less than wee babes, though, right? You said fetuses, which... I said anywhere from fetuses to full-grown. Preemies, okay. I don't know. <laughs> By full-grown, I mean, like, like, of working age. Okay, yeah. Okay. And, and the ones, uh, the, the workers with uh, things on their heads, did you say they were two doors down? They're, they're in that door right there. Oh, so I should probably be whispering more. Yeah, probably. I mean, that seems to be our best bet if we want to go take them out and then investigate there. None of the rooms we looked at screamed memory modification to me, but if that's a room where they're manipulating people while they're yes. growing, maybe. And if I recall... The big warehouse full of the the onboarded fetus to adults. There was one alligator relatively close to the door who seemed distracted on a date to sleep, while there was another one far away. Yes, yes, Millie. the room that we were just looking at. Yeah, yeah there was one closer and there's one further back. Oh, I think we should get those guys, kill them. Yeah. Well, well, well maybe, maybe we don't kill them. Maybe we ask them some questions. I just asked them some questions. I think I got all the answers we're going to get. I, well, maybe I haven't asked any questions. Well, then why didn't you speak up while I was on the roof? I was there for like 15 I was, minutes. I was, I was, you know, Shh, a lot of terrible things happened. I was having my 10 minute break. The thing is, if we try to capture them alive, I saw our professor, but if we try to capture them, they, they could alert from the other room too. And then, and then we're going to have to fight a bunch of people. I think this is the, the best way forward. Uh, maybe we can try to capture one, uh, the one that was in the further away, but we kill the one that's closest. Uh, or we can see what the lift room has since there was nobody in there. All right, that one at least was empty. We should check again before we go on peeking through, but... You would also know just by looking at it that one of the doors from the lift room would have connected to the room mm, with all okay. the tubes. Oh, just just by putting yeah. two and two together. Would that would that other door be closer to the farther away? No. Okay. It's pretty close to where you would have entered okay. from this room. I'm just saying, Professor. The, uh, these are slavers, and you taught me slavery is bad. And yes, I think everyone deserves to be saved. But I think sometimes the only person that should be making judgment on them is Bob himself. And I want to send him to the Maker to make that judgment. That's all well and fine, Kevin, but. We're talking about taking on a pair of Alligans in a room next to a room with 20 Alligans that have access to weapons. Well, not quite. It's two rooms away, but I get your point. Uh, you were not able to tell whether or not there's a door in that room that would connect to the one where they're assembling well, weapons. If... Oh. Never mind. 
it's theoretically possible given the size. So what? So I, I can't say that I know a lot about Allegans, but I can say I know a lot about productivity and manufacturing. And if a large assembly line were to mysteriously start breaking down, I think that would occupy the attention of a lot of people in the factory to the point where some yelling over there wouldn't really bring them away. Well, I agree with what you're saying, but that might be a little hard to do inconspicuously. Oh. <laughs> I would say inconspicuous is my middle name, but it's not. Yeah, I'd say it's not either, considering you walked right into me when I was opening the door earlier. <laughs> I was still on my break. <laughs> Where you able to gain any kind of access to any part of the assembly line from the door without them seeing you? Didn't look that way. The assembly line was a little bit of the ways into the room, and the, there's a lot of eyes. And it was how, how far? Oh, away they all were wearing weird things on their ears. It was very loud in there. How far away was the assembly line from the door? It was about fifty folds away from the from the door. The closest assembly line. There were three that you could see. Well, okay. You said that the room with the lifts had a bunch of different doors leading elsewhere, correct? Yeah. Right. And both the lifts oh, had sorry, label. <laughs> well, I, I think that having an oper or having the option to have as many escape routes as we possibly can is probably the most valuable thing right now. We're outgunned, we're outsized, and we're outnumbered. I, I, I beg your pardon. Most of us are always outside, <laughs> and that doesn't stop us. Well, I think, well, I agree you have a point there, but at the same time, we know the lifts didn't go to the roof because we were on the roof. So that means they could only go down, which is probably to where that tram was that the uh, guard was mentioning, which is not, I would imagine, not a very good escape route because it would probably just take us knee-deep into more elegance. But that's also the direction... That could take us to the train, the tram to take us to the Crystal Tower. Yes. Uh, no, I think the trams only connect to the buildings that are here. I think the tunnel that we saw, separate, the one that's like on the surface, is the one that takes us to the Crystal Tower. Like it goes under the lake or something. But, Professor, if, the, if there's people being held hostage or <laughs> slaves being held in that room right there, we we gotta save them too. Kevin, we can't save anyone if we're dead. I'm planning on dying today. Yeah, you don't plan on dying any day, Kevin, but I don't think any of us do. I'm just saying, uh, look, I don't care about that room with all those people with the he things on their heads, but I think if we can save the people in those those tube things over there, uh, that's worth doing. I don't even know if those people are awake, Kevin. They didn't seem to be doing much other than floating there. Hey, uh, floating? Uh Maybe, like they, oh, maybe they can breathe the water. Maybe. They have tubes on their faces. Couldn't see them. Okay. Hard to say. Maybe they're know, just they're preserves in a jar. It, mm. Wait, that makes no sense. There's people trapped in that room, Professor. We got to do something to save them. Remember, Kevin has no idea. You tried to explain something that there's no relevance in this world that Kevin would ever understand. Nope. Like, even if he, he was half intelligent, <laughs> it may still make zero sense to him. You know? So all he thinks is there are people in in glass uh, cages is the best way I can put it in the other room and he wants to go save them. Does Just to clarify what Kevin's try why Kevin's oh, mode be. Badly no. Yeah. I mean, I have a mind to agree with to agree with Kevin here that we need to take out the two that are in that room as quickly and quietly as possible. I'll do my best not to kill him, Professor. But again, we can't let them alarm, and, or, or else we won't be able to save the, the other people that are trapped. And remember, we still gotta figure out how to save all the slaves with the bombs on their chest. And maybe that room has 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 uh, the the solution, the final solution, you could say. Oh my God. We could try to lure him into this room and ambush him again, like we did the first two. But we, but we didn't lure the last two. They, they were on, like, some rotation. Right. We waited for them to come to us. But on this time, I'm saying we could try to lure the one that's closest to the door to go into this room to investigate, and then we jump him. And then we could go in after the second one 
either How stealthily or wait for him so to investigate. Everybody's in this room now, by the way. Was anyone yeah. else doing anything in this room other than listening to your story? Is, this is the room with like the bloody yeah okay. the surgical tables yeah. Is there anything else in this room? Any bombs? Uh, you don't see any bombs here. Uh, you see the bloody table. There appears to be some kind of machine that's humming. Uh, it has doors on it. Um, lots of blood, and then you see what appears to be like a trash receptacle, but it's nearly overflowing. With you get a look. Yes. Okay. It's a great ball. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of clothing in there, tattered clothing. <laughs> Elegant clothing? Uh-huh. It would not fit in Elegant. I'll stand, on your sh- I'll stand on your shoulders, put on the alley clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I just want to make sure that everybody had a chance to do something once they got in here, because the only ones that have been here are two of them so far. No, so I just got mad about seeing the bloody surgical table. You got what? Mad. Okay. So it. are you doing anything about that? No, just quietly stewing. Wait, wait, you still, this was supposed to be the bomb room, right? We don't know what this room was for. Yeah, what is this? It looks like they're recycling body parts or something. I mean, they're probably putting the bombs on them in here. Yeah, but why the tattered clothes? <laughs> Wouldn't the they keep their clothes? Well, I mean, this is all speculation, but we have a machinist right here, Deus. Do you think you want to take a look at the machinery, see if you can get any kind of idea what it might be for? Yeah, look behind Zero. the doors. Take, what? Look behind the doors. The machine that has oh, the doors. Yeah, the doors. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll check out the machine. Okay. Um, so the whirring machine that you uh, go to, it looks to be—it's cold to the touch. Uh, when you open it, it appears to be or some some way to refrigerate things. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of tubes in there with labels, all red in color, and some red liquid inside of them. Is what I'm getting at, but they're all labeled. Hmm. In Allian? In Allian. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, now, near the surgical table itself, since you're a machinist, uh, you do see that there appear to be a lot of cu- cutting implements. Um, and then next to the table itself, it looks like there is a depository where something is put in. But it, it appears to be like an open-mouthed thing that things can be shoved in, but beyond that, from this distance, you don't really... Oh. Okay. It doesn't look like a trash can, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, well, uh, is it like big enough to fit a person, or? It's big enough to fit limbs. <laughs> okay. And there's blood all over it. Hmm. Sh- sh- one of the small people go check it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can squeeze. I will cast, I won't ritual cast, I'll just actually cast Comprehend Languages, try to see what those labels are. Okay, okay. and I'll point out all the ones that look interesting to you. Sure. Uh, all of them are labeled as uh, essence samples, and it has the name of each race that it might have been a sample of, and where that race is from, or where that sample is from. Why would they have this? And I assume they are like hooked to like tubes running through the machinery. They look like test tubes. Is, is there a pattern to the sample? Is there a pattern to the sample locations? Slash, are there locations that the professor would be familiar with? Uh, I don't know what you mean by. There's that. no locations, John. They're just labeled like Lollafell blood. Oh no, he means locations like where they're from. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's like Lollafell blood from Zoria. I don't know. Yeah, Aorzia. Yeah, uh, uh, that one. Uh, that, um, he's actually got a good point. They do have some locations that you recognize. You see one that uh, that sounds like uh, Aldenard, or looks like Aldenard the way it's spelled. Another one says Hingashi on it. Uh, another one says Corvus. Uh, oh, you, Corvus. Yeah, the, it's locations that you would recognize, like named after regions of the world. Not necessarily the cities that you would recognize them as, but the like Ilsebard would be another one. When we met the random people, the the slaves, did any of them look like copies of each other? 
hard to tell. You didn't really interact with that many of them. You spoke to a few of them, and most of them were huddled and dirtied, and, and some of them, you know, were clearly injured. So it's hard to tell, really. But, I mean, I think we'd notice if their faces looked the same. I would say that you didn't recognize anybody with... Uh, you didn't recognize any two people that shared a face. And remember, they were all kind of cloaked and, like, scared of us. They were all, like, not really looking at them. And you're saying that in the next room there are growing people. That's what it looked like. So kind of like when you have the uh, science manuals that had the like stages of development and they'd have pictures of dead things in jars at various stages of growth. How do they get that at Cliffside? I don't realize that. We had old medical texts. How did they... The books were 400 years old. You didn't know they were four. Well, actually, yeah, I did know they were four hundred years old. But that were those were the only books they had. Yeah. I mean, there was a library full of it, and some of them were medical texts. So yes. Now, I don't know, obviously, because I, I don't really know the mechanics behind this. But if these are essences of races, and you're growing people that don't have memories, it may be a case of not necessarily altering a memory as much as a implantation of a memory well, that's what i that's what inti was saying there that's what he thinks yeah. roll a stealth but a 20 on what oh. wouldn't that cause okay. problems if some I mean, people if it, had it, the same it would memory make sense but like I could... oh. Not Blade Runner. Oh. <clears throat> what were you saying tommy i said wouldn't that cause some issues if some of the individuals had the exact same memories. Well, I don't know that it's specifically a memory for a person as much as it's a, per a memory for a place. It seems like to know exactly. Are they freezing for you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to ask. Am I the only one lagging? I think it's them. John, you seeing them freeze? Yep, totally frozen. I think they're saying we're frozen. Mm, these uh, obstacles. <coughs> I just got off to be safe. Seem good now. Are we okay now or? Possibly. Cool. Okay, so what well, was the last I, thing that you heard? Uh, we were talking to each other, so what was the last thing you guys heard? Yeah, you then. And the frozen again. Yeah, okay. yeah log out. Okay, is that better? Yeah, you guys sound perfectly fine now. Can't see you. Though. Oh, there you yeah, go. There you go. You. Video. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, the last thing I remember was saying that it's not necessarily a person's memories we're implanting, but a place. I mean, we all know that we grew up in Cliffside. It, it could just be a case of multiple people knowing that they're from the same area. What's the purpose of just implanting a general idea of an area? I mean, identity. Person needs identity. If you don't have an identity, then what's the point of anything? They're slaves. What do they need an identity for? <laughs> to know that there's something else out there, not just slavery. So you're saying I could be born could be with an identity? Hmm? Yes, Kevin, could be. <laughs> what did he say? Born identity. Well, it could what be did... a twist that means of giving them some kind of sense of hope that maybe just maybe they could return to this place that they have vague recollection of. I know that if I had a place that I wanted to go back to, I would want to stick around more than if I didn't think there was anything else. Here's, 
thing. I, we could debate the philosophy of this until uh, the cows come home. Do they have cows I mean, here, by the way? But, their, their rule over these guys seems pretty absolute. That guy was willing to just walk out and die because we told him to and we weren't even elegants. Right, none of this matters right now, y'all. Uh, all that matters is that we try to save the slaves that are trapped in that other room, and then we try to get the heck out of here. The only reason we're in this room right now is because we're trying to figure out a way to de deactivate the, the bombs on their chest. And no one's figuring that out. You're all talking about, oh, the memories being implanted and, 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 and uh, uh, the fake memories, real memories, identity. Yeah. This is not what we should be doing right now. Devin, yeah, did you see those... Did you see those bodies over there? Are you sure they're even like Is that alive? There? Those people in the tubes, are you sure they're even alive? I haven't seen Could just be spare too. parts. I don't know. They told me there are people trapped in the other room in different life stages well, and I don't know what that means. Have look. We'd have to go <laughs> further into the room to see for certain if they're alive or not, but or we could ask. Uh, Sid, your comprehend languages works for spoken word, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, in the as you guys are having this conversation, there appears to be somebody's radio that's still in this room, um, and it goes off, uh, and you it sounds like gibberish to the rest of you. Gibberish. But to uh, Sid, you just hear, "Begin the clearing of the launch pad." Amon says, "We're ready to launch. We're ready to go." Anybody know where there's a launch pad? Uh, probably the elevator would take us. It's probably where it's, they're building the moon. Right, probably the fucking moon. Well, they're about ready to get that going, I think. Oh, like good, I they're said, distracted. Right, right. so uh, can we go rescue those people? At least let me go see what's going on in that room. Let's, how far again? Well, you have to deal with the two in, that are in there first, Kevin. Then can we figure that out? How close is the closest guy? The, the one that you saw out. was like ten folds. Oh, oh yeah, I'll, I'll go. <laughs> oh, okay. Go, go take a look at the the room right here with the lifts first, so you can see where they go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I I slowly yeah. open the door and kind of look out. To the room with the lifts, or the room, yeah, the with, room the with the lifts first. Ah, okay. I'll I'll poke my head over to try to take a look at what the lifts say. Sure, there's two. One says uh, bullet tram to the armory. The other one says uh, bullet tram to the launch pad. Well, Damn I don't think it. It. Just in case it, go. in case it becomes relevant, you must touch writing to read it with comprehend languages. I, I was assuming that you would just walk up and touch. Yeah, it. but just in case there's. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so this one goes to the armory, which is the place that we were probably advised not to go. This one goes to the launch pad. The armory sounds so much fun, though, but the guy did say it was the most heavily guarded place in the area. Uh, sorry, Professor, what's a launch pad? A la launch pad. Okay, what's a... Was that like a boat? Uh, in some cases, yes, but I think in this case it's for the moon. Hey, no one's flying to the moon, Professor, unless the bird can fly that high. Kevin, the moon that they're making. Oh, hey, wait, do you think maybe the moon's a way we can get out of here? Because we came down, right? We fell down. If we go up, I couldn't get, I couldn't reach it with my boots. Maybe if we go up on, on whatever vehicle they have, that could get us out of here. I don't think going to space is what we need to do. I think we need to get to the Crystal Tower to go. <laughs> There's no capitalism in space. So <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Tell a horrible place. I do. <laughs> okay, well, regardless, uh, let's go save those slaves in the other room. Well, let me go look real quick. Uh, so I'm going to go to the other room and like peek, slowly open the door and kind of peek in. The room with the, with the Kate with the... It's fine. Because I want to figure out what the heck is... Because no one wants to go in that room. I don't understand what they're saying anyway. So now I want to look for myself. Kevin, I have an idea. Do you think you could be quiet when you, in, for ten phones? Ten oh, feet? I never telling you. That little <laughs> machine that's next to the surgical ta yeah. table. Go ahead and just roll insight on that. Like, like, or, or no, you can do your machinery check, right? 
Oh, uh, yeah. You're the, the Deus yeah. mini feet one? Yeah. Tell me this well, one. no. Just do a skill check for it. Unless you want to use your mini feet. Uh, well, okay, well, um, we're just doing the skill check to give me the thing info that you would give me for the I, I'm, I'm saying you're, you, you, of all people, would be able to intuit it, depending on your role. Yeah. Okay, so a uh, 25. Okay. You deduce from seeing all of the incredibly sharp blades that are in there that look like they could spin around and, you know, in place, and the blood that's all over it, that this is a machine to liquefy bodies, and that's what's in the refrigerator. Oh, that's oh. Bone marrow and guts. Well, good news, everybody. I figured out what this thing is. It's a blender. Do you know how to use it? Oh, uh, yeah, you press this button and probably come to life, but you don't stand near it if you do, because... It's probably loud, so maybe we yeah. don't. First off, I don't know what a blender is. Secondly, yes, NT, I I've beaten these at the, at the quiet game many times. What? That's true. He's quiet. agreeing he can oh. be quiet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have an idea. I'll go stun the closer one, and you bring him back in here, and then we can have a chat. You mean like a Dragon world. Man? Yes. One, one of those, you know, send him a quick email where, where you have a meeting in 10 minutes with, the, with your the what now? supervisor and the HR person. All right, well, yeah, I, I can be quiet. I'll wait for you to stun him and then I'll come drag him in. Okay. I would like to stealth up to the guy who is on the stealth I'll check. Yeah. Right, and before he stealths, I'm looking into the room now because I'm watching this and I'm gonna, I, I want to see what's in the room. Uh, you see hundreds of these tubes with and <gasps> people in them. Uh, people at like pre-development stage, baby stage, two All years old, five-year-olds. All of it. All of it. it, Got it. Like a range. Do, do I see any two that look the same? Like they could be clones. It's pretty hard to tell. Yeah, hard to tell with that. Okay, got it. Okay. But you do see that the ones that are large enough to like. Be recognizable as you know beings like not yep. a fetus uh they seem to already have the bomb in their chest oh okay. got it got it also do, do any of them look like they're alive like they're moving they have like vital signs they're floating but like they're That's not moving they're kind of just floating there they're not like got it yeah. okay okay so 22 22. Yeah. You're going to stun him? No, I'm not. Oh, that's your stealth. I'm sneaking I'm up. I'm asking you're going to stun him after you sneak after up. After I... Okay. So, yes. You, you're able to sneak up. He hasn't noticed you. The one at the other side of the room appears to be looking at a wall intently. Like, like they're reading something on a wall and they're facing north. Sounds like he's just slacking. <laughs> okay. So, I will attack the one who hasn't seen me. You know, okay. It's a stunning strike. Oh, it, yeah. Better be good. 20-something to hit. That'll hit. Okay, so now I'm going to use... What was it called? Steel Peak has to make a strength saving throw. What's the DC? DC is... DC, which is... What's the ability you're using? Steel Peak. When you hit another creature with a melee attack, you spend chakra uh, to attempt to leave the creature dazed. The creature can succeed on a strength saving throw or... 17. Yeah. 17. Oh, no, what's your wisdom? Wisdom is 22. Then it'd be an 18. 18. Fuck, I got 17. <laughs> Literally 17. All right. So he's ta he takes some damage, who cares? And yeah. he's stunned. He's stunned or dazed? Stunned. Okay. okay. Yeah, incapacitated, can't yeah. move, can speak only falteringly, fails, saves. He just falls over backwards, and I'm assuming Kevin's going to catch him before he hits the floor. Exactly. <laughs> and <laughs> now I'm dragging him into the processing room. Quiet. Hey, 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 you pick up his feet so we can be quieter. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh straight check. Okay. How do Twelve. I come up with this shit? This is really fucked up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I just sit here and go, where did I get this? Um, yeah, so 12. Yeah. Uh, catch his feet and hold them. Oh, yeah, it's fine. You guys take him into the other room. Uh, the other one has not noticed that he's missing. Okay. They haven't even stopped looking at the wall. All right, let's put him on the table. Uh, one second. Uh, let, me, let me wrap up his mouth. I, t I take out from my bag the other dirty sock I had. I put it in oh, his no, mouth and you the clothing. Wrap it. Huh? You some no, of the clothing. I, I had a free dirty sock. I don't want just one sock in my bag, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I put it in his mouth and and a rope rope around. Oh wait, does he have silver teeth too? Um, some of his teeth are they look coated in a metal. Okay, so then I wrap it around his head. 
So it's like his chin and his head. So you can't open his jaw, right? Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. Animal. Yeah. And you're strapping him into the table. He's got to be wow. way bigger than the table. He is, but that's not saying that the straps can't go on it. Like yeah. they might hold him, yeah. but not comfortably. We only, we only need part of him to be on the table. All right, and then I the, so we put the straps on, and I also use some additional rope to okay. kind of tie him. The straps are mechanical. So as soon as you wrap them around his arms, they oh. tighten themselves to hold him in place. And a machine comes out of the ceiling and is just like floating over the table for anyone to use. They look like all kinds of surgical cutting in implements and things of that nature. Hey, Indy, how, how long is this guy going to be out? His eyes are open. One turn. <laughs> <laughs> we did that very quickly. <laughs> so uh, what's our plan with this one? Hello, I, I, I am into dance. I, I represent the Cliffsiders. This is us. Uh, we have some questions for After you. six seconds, he begins. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. You will, you will have a chance to speak, but. Uh, does he have his dado slate, whatever, with him? It fell to the floor, did you have taken it? Oh. I could run and grab it. Yeah. Well, you said you grabbed his feet. You I would have seen him drop the dado slate. Oh. Would you not have picked it up? I would have if I could have. Sure. Okay. I'm fine with that. So I had to carry You can even say that you grabbed it before it hit the floor to make noise. Oh, cool. Monks are fast enough. The data slates aren't huge. No. Like, they still exist in our time. Oh. They're called tome stones. Yeah. I'm going to call it a data slate. The iPads. I have heard for... <laughs> Professor, perhaps this might be useful. You can see what he was working on. Okay. I'll take a look at it. Okay. First, first, um, first, tell him to be quiet, because because if because if he's too loud, uh, then I might have to kill him. And I don't want to do that. I'm trying my best. Can they understand us? Yes. Okay. Um, be quiet. It's just the other way around. Or well, they they have spoken in the lesser languages before. Oh. Just while you were around them. So. Yeah. So yes, be quiet, and I'll take a look at the. Data pad. Yeah, who, who wants me to answer first? Are you going to interrogate this guy or you want to read the pad first? Let's read the pad. Okay. It appears to be monitoring something that's going on in that room because you can see on the screen, it looks like it's got rows and rows of glass tubes that it's monitoring and each one has a percentage next to it um, going from, you know, zero to 100. And it has a timer next to it as well that seems to be counting down. Um, Slowly or relatively slowly, oh. it, it, you see one that says its percentage at four percent, um, but the timer on it says two days, fourteen hours, something along those lines. You are, if you were to guess just by looking at it, you can deduce that it's it's a countdown until they're fully grown. All right, um, into go ahead and do what you got to do. I'll uh, think about this for a second. Did, did, did the professor relay his... I don't know. Did you? Uh, oh, it, what's it, look, this? it looks like a monitoring system. Uh, percentage of growth, I assume, and how long until it'll take for them to be complete. So that, that seems to imply, Kevin, that they are alive and that they will presumably be released to... Whatever ends, I don't know. Uh, let's talk to this guy. I'm gonna let me climb up on him. So I climb up on top of him. Jeez. I take out ivory cutter and I'm like holding it like towards his chest. I, I do want to point out he's about 11 feet tall. He's not a giant. Yeah. And you you're pretty tall too. So yeah, you're climbing on top of him, but it's not like you're tiny yeah. on his body. Yeah, okay. it's kind of like you know wrestling. <laughs> now I say this. I, I hope you can understand me, but I'm gonna take out this thing from your mouth. And if you scream, I'm gonna have to kill you. And I really don't want to do that. So, uh, if you could just not, not Kevin, make a perception check. Scream for me. Yeah, I'd really appreciate that. Natural one. Good job, Millie. Really. No one is coming at all. All right. All right here, what are you asking? I'm removing. I'm removing the sock. Do you scream? He does not scream. He just stares at you. Uh, go ahead. His eyes, uh, his eyes are like deep orange color. Oh, that's cold. Uh, hello. Um, 
I have a question. Do you feel comfortable answering? I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> mm. Ask away your question. Yes. Ah, uh, so I have a question. I What's your number, Clint? Oh, really? Oh, uh, it 21. is twenty-one. Oh, it's got a ring on it. Okay, you have like a sixth sense that something is about to hit you. Does it? Do you, no, it does not make your armor class. Okay. Do you move out of the way? I, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you get out of the way just in time to see a blade from his arm like swing towards you, but you move out of the way. And his his like range of motion while he's strapped in is not super oh. big, but you can see his arm is opened up and a large blade has come out of he's, that. He's immobile. That's, that's right. what you missed. <laughs> Oh, he's immobilized, right? For the most part. I mean, he's like he's strapped in. Okay, but punch him. I <laughs> uh, was sixteen AC hit him. Um, I would say that while he's strapped down, then yes, it would. Hit okay, him. cool. Make yeah, because those were shit. Yeah, make a strength saving throw oh, against an eighteen. I'm just, he automatically fails. Okay, I'm not gonna roll for it. Okay, so so like I, I'm gonna say as uh, this that's not the way to go. Let's take the blade away. Well, it's in his it's, arm. It's, it's part of his arm. Oh. Like, his arm opened and the blade came out. Inti, so. Inti, it's my fault. I, I didn't tell him not to scream. I didn't tell him not to cut you. Hey, could you not do that either? I don't want to have to chop off your arm and then kill you. Well, I mean, we don't have to do both of those, Kevin. Oh, so we can chop off his arm? Well, perhaps that's the best course. What do you say? Say no. Say no. Oh. Has it been a turn? No, that's a, that's a no. <laughs> but after six okay. seconds, he would say no. Okay. All right, yeah. So I will stand over here then, and we will continue this polite chat. Uh, I, it's the question: When your work in the other room is complete, where where do the people go? You said the work in the other room. The, yes, the the two people. They go to work. Ah, I see. I see. Now, where do they come from? Do they begin? He actually smiles. They come from here. From from this room? From this facility, moron. I see. I see. I, I slap him. Hey, 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 I should have told you be, speak nicely. Speak nicely. Speak nicely. It's not nice to call him an idiot. Uh, Kevin, when you slap him, it feels like you just hit metal on his face. Like, like it, It's like you smacked something metal. I use my left hand, so it's not as strong. <laughs> and r roughly, how long do these workers last? Like, do, I mean, do they, do, do any of them ever leave for other employment? They, they never leave? leave. I see, I see. And like, you know, roughly over the lifetime, how much, how much uh, labor do they provide? Like, how long do they live? Why are you asking me this I'm questions? very curious. It, like, roughly what the cost of creating a new person is? Cost. The cost, yes. Like, how many resources compared to how many resources you get over their lifetime? Like, what's the customer of slave value? Hey, hey, Inti, Inti, like, come on. We get a lot of work. Inti, stop, we, stop, we with the, work. stop with the production questions. Uh, we want to know uh, about the slaves, how to free them, oh, uh, yeah. the bombs, and, 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 and the, the, the launch. Oh. Yeah, the bombs. At this point, he's just, like, laughing. Free them. <laughs> I move the ivory cutter to my left hand, and I try to slap him with my right hand. Okay. It, you, you hit him, John. It's just like something in his face is yeah, melting. I, I get it. I get it. Hey, why is your face so hard? Millie. He opens his mouth, and it elongates like a snake, and you can see his entire jaw is, like, made out of metal. Kevin, I, I think what we're, we're ha what's happening is our previous strategy isn't working. We can't use the same sort of strategy on him as we use on others, but it seems that Millie has found a better strategy to work on this kind okay. of one. Okay. No. Let me try. No. Let me try. Okay, so so you guys make slaves here. Is, is that what you're trying to say? Yes. And you make them off of bodies you guys captured or something? We sample those we capture, the ones we do not kill, and then they become... A slurry for future progeny. Yeah, I don't know what that word means, but uh, okay. And 
and the rocket. What's got going on with the rocket? Rocket? A sphere. Ah. Emon's crowning jewel. How much do you be? I don't understand. Andy, I mean, quiet. I mean, no, 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 no. You're sending I'm, testicles I'm up to the air? <laughs> so this, this, oh, I'm sorry. this machine you're on. Yeah, that phrase you're coming from Cliffside. I'm sorry, what? This this machine you're on, I assume, is to make the slurry. Of course. Would it work on somebody your size? I'm gonna eagerly grab the floating machine thing as soon as it says that. Feeble-minded lesser races like yourselves would never understand how to operate the machinery, and even if you could, I clearly would not fit. In that, we don't need. Oh. I, I, I didn't, I didn't ask if you would fit. I asked <laughs> if it would work. Sure, little man. If you were able to get it to work, yes, it would work on me. Deus, go and press the button. Oh, wait, 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 professor, what, hold on. I got some more questions. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. And what I'm sitting on top of it. No, I just <laughs> want to clarify what we're looking at here. It's a table, surgical table. To the side of the table is the blender, for lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. And above, what came out of the ceiling as soon as you strapped it in seemed to be a bunch of cutting implements. Right. So what are you cut what are you pressing the button on? Uh, no, actually, uh, actually, Deus. Yeah. I, I I he's really not going anywhere. I mean, we could just press every button, couldn't we? Well, yeah, we could as long as it doesn't blow up on us. Yeah. I don't I don't need to know what these buttons say to use them. <laughs> Hey, Professor, can I touch? Can I hit the buttons? I, I love wait, 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 wait. I, I have one more question for him before we hit the button. Does the other Allegan in that room know as much as you do about the facility? Grojack is an idiot compared to me. Yeah, hit the button. <laughs> what? Well, you call us lesser races, and that's all well and fine. We don't need to be your equal to know how to hit buttons. And eventually, one will work. Sure. Keep telling yourself that. I will. Okay, so, what you, so you said something about crown jewels. So what's going up in the rocket? You'll be dead soon. So I'll just tell you. It is a battery. A tremendous amount of energy to power that moon, which will then collect ether from the stars. Okay, get, makes sense. And since you said you're so smart, uh, maybe you could help us, right? So apparently we're not from your time, and, and we're from the future. I know that sounds crazy, but just go with it for a second. In the future, none of you exist. Uh, no, there's no chance of you. have a memory modification in. No, 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 we're not from... Does this sword look like it's from here? I'm showing him the ivory cutter. No, it looks like a toothpick. Right, it's a toothpick that's very sharp. My point is, we're not from here. We came from another time. We're, we're, only your remnants of your race exist, but none of you people do. Now I know you're speaking of fantasy. No, if, if I'm speaking of fantasy, which is a book's that I used to read. If I was speaking fantasy, why would we all be here without bombs in this facility? How would we be able to sneak all the way over here to accomplish what? It's not unheard of for groups of your kind to stumble into areas where they shouldn't be. And capture people like you? You got lucky. My back was turned. Dishonorable. Well, it's funny you said that. It's pretty similar to what Rexus said, too. When did you speak to Rexus? About five minutes before I killed him. Roll an inside check. Inside 17. His face is, like, steely, like, sure, right? But you see, like, a single sweat drop start. <laughs> yeah. I took this off him, too, and I pull out the chalk from then. And his eyes go to that. What do you want? 
Well, I think you need to answer the tall one, well, less tall than you, but taller than me's questions. And which question have I not answered yet? Right, the one about the future. Just if you couldn't just believe we're from the future, and your race doesn't survive. It's not what? possible. It do, there's no way for it to work. Time travel is a fiction. Yeah, well, we're here. So uh, yeah, I've heard it written that time is a flat circle. <clears throat> what does that mean? Got me. Sounds like somebody high on drugs would say. <laughs> Could be. Now, these, um, these people that you're making in the opposite room, when it hits 100 on this data pad, what happens? They are ready for work. And you just press a button and they get released? Yes. Okay. Right. Which was the button that deactivates all the bombs again? There isn't one. Why would we deactivate the bombs? In case, you know, uh... They're all like around your people, like in that other room with where you guys are making something. We won't. We won't be hurt. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, y your job is to stare at a data pad, and when it hits a hundred, you press the button to open it. Well, most of the time, it will do it itself. So we what? are there to make sure there's no complications. What do you do? Why? We are the ones hiring this guy. They they kept saying something about memory modification. <laughs> what, what does that mean? Like, are you guys putting memories in these people's heads? Of course. But like what? Why would you have to put memory in someone's head? So they have something to live for and therefore work for? Ha! Is, Told this, you. The, is this the first time that you've been around one of these facilities? How stupid are you? It, well, well, I'm not we'll that smart, to be perfectly fair, but well, but yes, this is the first time we've been around this stuff, and like I said, uh, you guys don't exist in the future. Uh, somehow, either your entire race gets killed, or you leave this planet somehow. Planet? Sorry. You leave this realm plane of existence. I had my fill of your fiction. If you're going to kill me, go ahead and do it. Uh, c hey, that's fine. Wait, wait, wait. Before you do. Okay. Are any of these um, beings viable before it reaches 100%? They're viable starting at 75%, but they'll be oh. affected. Why oh, I see. Not useful. Yeah, you, not useful, you say. About how many of them are 75% or more on the uh, data pad? Um, it looks like they've got a pretty decent system of as soon as... As soon as some leave, they immediately start another batch. So it's like there's at least like 50 of them that are at 75% and they're all growing at the same rate. I'm going to press everyone that's above 75%. Oh, okay. there's another guy in the room. I know. That's the point. <laughs> are we done with this one, man? Knock him out. Don't kill him. Super, super appreciate oh. speaking with you. Uh, you know, I don't think slavery is a good thing i've learned that's a bad thing even though i do understand free workers make more profits which is a good thing but in this case everyone should be free it, just like bob intended it so uh that is an easy way of looking at the world yeah, I, the strong survive the weak are subjugated hmm. and kevin's gonna jump off and chop off his arm no oh, but that's not what told him in there which arm not the, the one, one that had the weapon had the weapon and you're using your ivory cutter yep all right, roll an attack. Yep. Uh, 26. So we are going to put him in the hole then. Um, okay, yeah. At the elbow, you cut off his arm, and you hear a metal sound as it clicks to the ground, and you see some machinery inside of his arm that looks like it's trying to grasp onto something, and then the arm that's on the floor is just kind of flopping around. Uh, so, sorry about your arm, but you're kind of a jerk about the slave thing. <laughs> He doesn't even start screaming. He just looks at it and says, do you have any idea how long that surgery takes? <laughs> Unfortunate. Knock him out and cover his mouth. But I don't know how to knock this guy out, Professor. His head's kind of like metal. I can knock him out for six seconds. Let me try this. I take out the sock and I put it over his nose. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, you hear like a little bit of machinery sound, and then he just stares you in the eye. Oh, didn't work. 
Yeah. When he pulled the sock away, he's retreated his nose into his face. Wow, your bot is real cool. Yes. I know. Okay. Good talking to you. And, um, pick up his arm. And kind just of like strangle him, Kevin. He'll oh. fall out, or he'll fall asleep if you just prevent the blood flow to his head. A lot of words, but I can wrap a rope and try to strangle him. I promise I won't try to kill you. You should probably just go to sleep, and hopefully you'll wake up. I wrap a rope yeah. around his neck, and <laughs> slowly try to strangle him until he passes out, and then I'll stop as soon as I feel his body stop moving. Okay, it's about after 20 seconds he stops moving. Can I retroactively say, as soon as the professor hit the button, ran into the other room where, sure. where the tubes are, and I'll, I'll wait until this opens. Okay. Okay. I, I th he stopped moving. I, I, I'm not squeezing anymore. Uh, uh, gag him and let's get moving. <laughs> okay, so I put the sock back in and I wrap his face again. What like, did you up, do with his arm? Left huh? on the floor. No, I you took his arm. No, I took the arm. Where is it? In my bag. Okay. All right. Uh, you went into the other room. You see that all of them begin opening and water begins flooding out of them and then like some of these unfinished or 75 percent or greater people are just like falling out of the tube are they, i mean are they like children are they some of them are none of them are older than like early 20s but there are it looks like there's multiple different ages here for some reason but is the 75 percent indicative of like malformation or just age yeah it's like being born with a disability at 75%, but still being able to function. Just not at 100%. Do you get it? So they're all of them. Hmm. You're insulting yourself. I'm insulting okay. my character. So I haven't noticed Inthia's left. Right, what do we do now? Uh, do we go to the launch pad? Do we try to get right. out of here? As all this water is rushing out, the bodies are flopping. Now the person that's in the corner seems to be taking attention of it, and he just starts saying something angrily and elegant that you can't understand. Well, Inti ran that way, probably after where all the bodies are. God. While he's while the guy in there is distracted, this would be the time to take him out. Okay, got it, Professor. Uh, I, I head on in, slightly stealthily. Oh, uh, sure. Roll a stealth check. <laughs> That's one of my greatest feats. Oh, 13, sure. sick. Did you roll disadvantage because heavy armor? Oh, nope. Rolling with disadvantage. Nine. Nine. Okay. Yeah, you're not quiet at all. Yep. Uh, just kind of stomp into the room. Now, whether or not this guy notices you at the moment is not clear. He seems to be running to all of these tubes that are opening, and you see him pressing buttons nearby that seem to open drains underneath. Hmm. It's like, and, and again, he's mumbling to oh, himself oh. angrily and kind of looking around the room. How far is he from the door? About 40 full. Oh, away. cool. In one round, I go there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and I'll Monks. Back him. Okay, are you just punching him? Punching, you... punching, and munching. You're going to fight him? <laughs> you said punching and munching? Punching him. It's technically an unarmed attack. Could be a munch. Could. Okay, the first one's a two, so that's a no. Yeah. The second one's a. 15? Miss. Okay. And then the flurry blows, so two more. Oh, fuck. 17. 17 will hit. Okay, cool. So D8, 2D8 plus 6. Uh, 10 and 8. Damage? Yes. Sure. Oh, have him make a strike saving throw. Is this a knocking yeah, out? Yeah, this, this is the last stun I get in this fail. He's stunned. Now, yeah, since I see since I see Inti fighting, I would like to plunge. Okay. Or are you cutting uh, off his head? Yep. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I figured that was what you're doing. Uh, roll an attack. It's with advantage because yes. he's stunned on oh, the ground. Oh, so sick. Uh, 23. Okay. And you're going for his throat? Uh, like his neck. Yes. All right. Yeah, you're not gonna need to roll damage for it. You cut off his head. Oh, wait. Good job. Okay. Hey. Good job. We got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bunch of people on the floor. Blood is just like leaking out of them. Uh, I go. Does anyone like? Are there any ones that look like they're living? Like they're trying to? 
move or? No, none of them appear to be conscious. If you're asking about oh, bodies. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. What, a medicine check? Or are they okay? Sure. Hey, let's go get the rest of the group. I run to the other room. Uh, we got the guard. Come in, come in. There's a bunch of people that need help. They're alive, but there's like no no brain activity. I mean, they're alive. They're not brain dead, but it's like there's no thoughts going on. Is that like from the shock of waking up from the tube or just like... Uh... You're looking at the slate, right, Professor? Okay, so on all of the ones that are 90 to 100% ready, uh, it says awaiting memory profile. All right, I'll... Um... The Professor just genocide a lot of slaves. It's not genocide, <laughs> but they're dead. Not dead, they're alive, they're just not... They're, They're not turned on yet. Yeah. 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 Uh, all right. I'll. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I assume my options are Ellison, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Oh, I'll just. Can, can we do a custom one? It does not seem to have a custom memory option in there. <laughs> I'll just tap random. Sure. Uh, there's a ton of different memory profiles and they seem to correlate to a region that they might have been from. Uh, now, one thing that you do see on the data slate is next to the ones that are either fully grown or nearly fully grown, it says what their specialties are based on where they came from and what the, the uh, essence that was used to make them is. I'll, I'll use ones that are familiar to me, like the ones that I would recognize. So like Hingashi and... Yeah. Yeah. Well, Ilse Bard and yeah, yeah, yeah. With specialties and work specialty. Where, yeah. What are the options? <laughs> well, it's not options. It's just like saying next to them what their specialties are, what, what they'll be best suited for, like um, heavy labor or uh, is there a rebellion? One? No. <laughs> it, it, it's more like recommendations for where they can put them to work throwing it out there is nothing about cliffside right no okay that is not mentioned all right yeah so i'll go with the ones that i'm familiar with sure um it says loading memory profile but it seems to be going very slowly like <laughs> really slowly can i go look at the the screen that he was the allegan was looking at sure uh, it appears to be a, a larger version of your data slate. It's encompassing the entire room, though, instead of just, you know, the first several that the first guy appeared to be in charge of. Um, it's no new information. What? Can I loot the corpse real quick? What? what are you doing? Can I loot the corpse of the guy's head that I just cut off? Sure. You find a tombstone. That's a data slate that mm -hmm. they were talking about. Uh, you find a pistol. It's an alien pistol, just like you found on some of the others. Um, and he appears to have, a, like, a hand scythe as well. That's it. He doesn't... No money, nothing of the sort. Okay. No snacks. I give that stuff up. I'll go loot the other guy, too. The other guy's not dead. I'm, is he awake? Uh, you just restrained him, I think. Right? He's restrained, I and he's passed out. Knocked him out. Knocked him out. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I'll still loot him. So, okay. Um, it's pretty much the same. He has the pistol and he has a, a short sword. Okay, perfect. I'll just take the stuff and give a pistol to Deus. I mean, and... you already took his arm, which also had a weapon in it. But Ooh. yeah, that was the best yeah. weapon so far. Now we're armed. All right. Uh... Also, a plus three weapon. Uh, all of these count as plus three versions of them. Do they need oh. attunement or just nope. using? I attuned to the arm. Do you use a? Does Tavi use uh, guns? Is what? Do you use guns, Tavi? No. Okay. It's just Ken and, and Deus that are trained in. I'm going to look around for a scythe if we pass by any. Um, not in any of the rooms that you've been in. Uh, what do you guys want to do? I mean, we're in this room. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you want to hit the elevator? Uh, what's, what's the deal? Kevin, I think I'm going to need a 10-minute break. 
I'm no one, no it. one died, NT. Uh, no I'm bereavement so break right now. Disturbed by what's happening in this room. As you say that, the whole building shakes, like basically like that. Oh, and it just, lunch. yeah, it continues for, <laughs> it continues for. Is there several. any like screen in the room you that hear, hear a very loud sound from outside? Are there any screens oh, in the room that's showing the launch? No. Well, do we want to go to the launch? I feel like we'd be missing it by the time we get there. I'm going to the roof. So they had two employees in here that were doing the same job, both looking at data slates, but apparently the whole system is automated where it releases them automatically. This is so inefficient. Someone has to load the profiles. Down. But they say that's automatic. That was just, way too advanced for Kevin. Just, oh, never mind. Just, I didn't, didn't even know about it, Recon. Well, us the lesser races, and they're just wasting labor here? Wow. Who else uh, is going to the roof? I'll go to the roof. <laughs> okay, I'm going to look around. Wait, Professor, don't go to the roof yet. we got to look around here. I, I don't know what all these things do. Well, I would advise not touching anything, but... If they're sending that thing up in the air, I want to see it. Okay, I'm going to go hide this body and uh, look around. So I'm going to hide the body, just put it to the side, really. So, okay. I don't know, in one of the tubes, who cares? You also have somebody strapped to the surgical table, That's just fine. saying. He's, he's fine there. Uh, I would just want to look around the room. Like, You're see looking if there's anything around? interesting that I can take, slash things that would stand out, things like that. There would be nothing here that would stand out to Kevin as useful. This is more or less a sterile room, so. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any things in there that might be like journals or? Um, nope. More data just slates. Just the data slates that you already have. Just those. Oh well, technically the wall too, but yeah, take the wall. Uh, those of you who went to the roof. So so far it's just Millie and Sid and okay. Inti. Oh, oh. Peek in the factory room. Are they still working? They're still working. See, don't do something. <laughs> It's all got to the roof. Then the roof. Okay. Anybody else going to the roof? Nope. No, I'm staying down with Kevin. So Soul, Anti, Sid, Millie, roof. Sounds like it. Unless anybody else is going. Um, <sighs> okay. So as soon as you get up there, you do see the project, and it is slowly lifting off the ground. And this is a truly massive feat of engineering. It's. It's so big that you can see it from the ground when they launch it into space, and it looks like its own moon. That's how large it is. It has boosters all around the bottom of it, like every inch of the bottom is covered in boosters, and you see them lighting with this blue flame as it is taking off from the ground and just slowly, slowly, slowly lifting into the air. Probably could have been twice as big if they weren't so inefficient with how they use the armor. Is it actually slowly, or just that it's so massive it appears slow? It's more like that. Gotcha. Sorry, Daz, did you say it was a scythe or a sickle? It's a hand scythe, so... Hand scythe. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, you're... It's going to take a little while to get up there, but you very clearly see this looks just like Dalamud, and it is being launched into the sky. Well, if there's ever going to be any time that we can possibly go through that tunnel without being noticed, now would be it. So you're saying to take the tunnel to the launch pad, which is no, I'm saying take the tunnel to the to the crystal tower. Oh, so we hop in the the mining vehicle and make our way that way. Unless there's really anything else you want to look for down there. Tell you the truth, I'd rather be away from there as much as anything else. I agree. I think that room full of 20 is more than we could handle uh, before reinforcements would be called. And even if they're not warrior types, they're at least armed with fancy shit. You seem disappointed. Uh, we can't free the slaves, man. They're not even people. They're just growing up in tubes. Whoa. Dude. I mean... <laughs> Who are you, Alabama? Wait, the wow! <laughs> exactly. Should I'm we go down and grab everyone? Case. Then? What? Start making our grab everyone, make our way back towards the oh, down the side of the building towards the vehicle. Yeah, I mean, people in the tubes. Uh, once they hit a hundred percent, I guess they'll get ready to be. They'll be released automatically. 
it's not right, like those but, two were doing anything. Well, there's there's nothing we can do to help them. I mean, the ones with the memory thing seems to be taking an age and a half. So we can't really sit here waiting for them to be whatever state they pop out in. It's, it's been ten minutes since you re- started giving them the memories. How far along is the progress? We'll look at the data plate. And the, I don't know, five, ten 1%. minutes since we started giving them personalities. Is it done? Is One percent. One, okay, yeah, we're... <laughs> There's no way we'd not be caught waiting here for that to finish. So we might as well get to wherever we're planning to go sooner rather than later before that mess gets seen and decide what we want to do with armless wonder there on the table. Well, as much as I would like him to face some kind of consequence, I think that it's best that we leave him where he's at. But won't he tell people that he can identify I don't think we should leave him alone. No. <laughs> You're all murder hobos! Not murder. No, you're not hobos. You guys have a home. But professor, just think about. Look, I, 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 like I said, I think he needs to go see Bob, for to see if he should be judged. Because look what they're doing to all those people in that room. Deus, what do you think? Deus needs to go to the roof. Oh, well, Kevin didn't either. either. Oh, where's that Kevin? Yeah. Nope. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I'm waiting if you guys come down. All right, I'm gonna. If you guys came down, we are having this conversation. I'm gonna head down. No. I think that we need to get to this crystal tower. If we're going to find any way out of this, I think that's where it's going to be. Uh, if you say so. I... So there's nothing we can do to free those like, slaves. I mean, I have their memory essences running. Well, at least I can give them some retribution. I'm going to send this guy to his maker, Professor, and I'm sorry. I, I don't want to punish him like that, but he's a bad guy. And sometimes bad guys, we can't lock him up here. I like that phrase, lock him up. If we can't lock him up, we got to take, take him out. Deus, what do you think? Yeah, I, I think we should get out of here. And I don't think we should wait for the memories to, to download or whatever you called it. It's going to take too long. And what about him? I think we should leave him. All right. Well, I'll leave him, but can I leave him without a tongue? Yeah, it doesn't seem like he has much to say anyway. Yep. Hey, sounds good. Um, I will try. I will cut off his, out his tongue. Yep, no problem. <laughs> then he drowns in his own yeah, blood. That's exactly what <laughs> you're thinking. Oh, I, I don't know that. Okay. <laughs> so I'll continue okay. on my way. Play on him. Was that supposed that to be a merciful way to put an end to him? You could have just chopped his head off like you did the other one in the other room. No, I'm not killing that one. And grow a whole bunch of elegant slaves ourselves. Oh, sure, we certainly have time for that. Okay, let's get out of here, all right? But. Uh, Let's, we got to figure our way to get to the Crystal Tower. Well, there's a tunnel leading straight to the Crystal Tower. Can our machine fit in that tunnel? I think that's what it's for. All right, well, let's let's get to our vehicle. So the dude's drowning on the table, right? Oh, he's gurgling this whole Millie, time. He's knocked out. Millie, you, so he's just can turn his head. <laughs> Yeah, oh, um, you can cauterize it. Uh, I'll yeah. take uh, the remaining hairpin that I didn't leave oh, behind and just I right can't. into his ear. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Oh, well, we're killing. Yeah, it's a brain surgery. Got it. If you're gonna do it, you might as well do it fast, not drag it out like that. The idea was not to kill him, Millie. Wait, did you kill him? You were gonna drown in his own blood. Out the mouth. Wow. Well, I. What? Well, you can have an. I also didn't hear what you said, Mike. Turn the head. Uh, that won't. Yeah, he would still drown in his own blood. With from the tongue, the tongue has tons of blood vessels in it. You cut off the tongue, it's going to be bleeding in his mouth. So unless he has his mouth like, like upside down. Yeah, unless you have him face down, then he will drown in his own blood. Well, I mean, he'll um, still bleed to is, death. Is, is that the same yeah. for Alligan? So yeah, presumably, sure. they the seem humanoid. Tongue, I don't know. I don't know. It's, I mean, it depends on like how much. Like the amount of musculature in the tongue, the relevant amount of blood. 
in the past, like on pirate ships and things of that nature, when people got their tongues cut out, they instantly cauterized it so, if they wanted them alive. So I'm, I'm, I'm want to say that we're all discussing this while the guy's like bleeding out. Sure. Which well, is why I just stabbed, stabbed him in the ear because I'm like, he's drowning in his blood. Might as well do it quicker than. Slower. Really, we could have saved him, but I just didn't want him to talk. Well, then maybe you should have thought about that before you I, cut out his tongue I, and let him slowly drown. He, he could have still written things. So like, we would have to chop off the other arm too. Well, now he can't identify us. He's dead quickly. And now we can get to the tower. We're on a time crunch. Let's go. I don't want to talk about this afterwards, but let's get out of here. Uh, head to the roof, into the car. You guys are going into the vehicle, and you're headed yeah. towards the tunnel yeah. to the crystal tower. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. On your way there, and again, you're in your invisible vehicle, so you're invisible on the inside as well. Um, and Alpha's just kind of sitting there quietly on one of the seats. He saw everything that you guys did in that room. <laughs> um, so... Uh, he, he's just kind of sitting there quietly. You guys are driving around. You see a lot of other Alligans that are, you know, milling about, going in various areas. Um, Sid, how long is your Comprehend Languages last for? An hour. An hour. Okay. So, I mean, if you're slowly driving by, your vehicle's quiet enough that you can start to overhear the conversations of people that are going by. It looks like you're coming across people that are walking from the launch pad area. Um, and you overhear one of the conversations that says, well, that crop's done with. We better get the next one uh, ready for the next project. Crop. What did you say? About to discover our handiwork. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, it's too far from the launch pad for you to see what they're talking about. But uh, you're headed towards the tunnel. Okay. Wait, I want to have a conversation yeah. first with Millie. Go ahead. So now we're driving. Millie, what is going on with you? We didn't need to kill that guy. Why are you so violent right now? Is the military changed you? This You're the one that Kevin <laughs> killed somebody, right? Well, yeah. Kevin beheaded the dude in the other room and cut the tongue out of this dude. Kevin, what are you talking about? You cut out his tongue, but you didn't cauterize it. He was going to bleed or bleed to death or drown in his own blood. I just made it quick, and now he can't identify us. I just He's gonna die either way. Tongue, he could still live, but uh, he wouldn't be able to talk. Not to the way you did it. The way you cut out his tongue, he would bleed to death or drown in his blood slowly, which is probably not a very fun way to go. Okay, that's my bad. But what about the, the people on the roof? I, I heard you did some real crazy things up there. I got answers. I got them quickly, and they can't identify us. Yeah, I think it's the way you're doing it, Millie. You're scaring people. The Alligans? That was my point. <laughs> You're not scaring just the Alligans, Millie. I made sure the kids weren't present. That's why I took them to the roof. No, we had this conversation on the way here. You're worried about the way you're going about things, the way you're feeling different about things. I gotta be honest with you. What, what you did back there is... Not something I would have thought you capable of. I said I was worried about losing control in a fight. I was in total control there on the roof. And that's right. just as scary. This is the first time I'm here and lose control in the fight? What now? It was a private conversation. Well, a private in the sense that it was me and Sid and Cassette and Soul <laughs> in that car. But yeah, you were in the other car. So then we were heading towards the buildings. But I don't see what the problem is. We need have the you, answers. I took a step forward to get the answers. I got us the answers. Have you looked at Deus lately? Yeah. Tell her about the stinky military, Professor. The fact of the matter is, Millie, I know that what you think you, what you did was right, but like Kevin said, the way you went about it, that's not the Millie I know. <laughs> The way I bent, went about it is one-tenth of what they deserve. They're enslaving children, putting bombs in their chests, doing whatever the fuck that was. So being down at that level is where you want to be? I didn't enslave anyone. Uh, no, you tortured a man. 
and it got the results we needed. And it's, again, less than what he deserved. <laughs> so who are you to decide that? Who are you to decide that? Drop that self-righteous pretension for a second. You were just torture, threatening to torture a man with surgical devices. A threat. There's a difference between a threat and action. Button about four times. Did she? She could have. I would have. Heather would have. Did she? You know, I seem to recall a conversation we had in a cave recently where somebody was in trouble about what they might have done and not what they actually did. So what Deus might have done is butcher a guy with surgical tools. Deus was not going to butcher a guy with surgical tools. They chose not to, but if you had asked that, it gave that same instruction to half the people at this group, they would have just said, okay, Sid said, push the button, I'm pushing the button. Why do you think I gave it to Deus? <laughs> okay, I can see we're really, really upset here. I want to know, Millie, I'm just disappointed. I don't need you running off now, okay? We lost you once. I don't want to lose you again, but we do need to talk about... You know, how you dealing with things is making me really worried as your friend and as your family. I don't want you, you know, going all angry and, and such. Kind of like that's a male guy who was super angry and mean. You've always been super nice and, and I don't want to lose the super nice part of you. <laughs> what memories is Kevin recalling? <laughs> Modification. <laughs> I haven't done a single thing that we've got here that put any of us at risk. If anything, anything that I did put myself at risk to protect you from having to take that risk upon yourselves. You're not wrong about that. I'm just trying to say, like, there's trying to get information and there's being mean and being cruel. In the book of Bob, which we're going to have to get into at some point, you know, Bob walked the, walked the planes and, and, you know, tried to leave a good life in righteousness and did the right things. And can't say that your methods aren't effective. They're definitely effective, and I appreciate that. But but it's just the way you're going about things. You're turning into a real mean guy, girl, person, and that uh, makes me worried about you. A real mean cat. <laughs> well, I seem to recall one of your rants in the past, something along the lines of, uh, do unto others what you would have them do unto you. So I did unto them what they've done unto others. Isn't well, that what you're preaching? Got me there, Professor. <laughs> uh, as this conversation, you guys are getting very close to the tunnel now. Secret tunnel. Let's handle this later. We're almost at the tunnel, but uh, do me a favor, Millie. Could you just uh, try not to be so uh, cruel, uh, at least for the next few hours until we can figure everything out and get out of here? I'm the cruel one, because I killed the guy that you were going to let bleed to death. Okay. Hey, got another good point. Uh, okay, I'm just saying. Eh, eh, try not to do anything that... I don't think I didn't see that body you beheaded in the other room. Well, I was trying to... Okay, here's the thing. Let me say it this way. Try not to do anything that would make these upset. Got that? That I can do. If I have to do anything that would make Deus upset, I'll make sure Deus isn't there when I do it. Okay, good. Good deal. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> so, for that little hairpin you put in, will you be submitting a reimbursement form? or? Oh, you mean this one? Oh, you got I didn't it. leave it there. Oh, okay. No, it, Millie's had two oh. hair daggers oh. that are like large metal I, chopsticks. I thought we were going to have to get into a whole reimbursement thing. No, she, she keeps them and her hair is tied up. One of them she left in the cave when she fled. She pinned the note to the wall with it. This one she's kept okay. with her. Okay, your methods are still very economical. All right. You've reached the tunnel. The tunnel has a road on the inside, and you continue in for about a moment, it seems. But at that point, the tunnel stops and you're in front of a bunch of tubes. I just immediately pictured like the male Internet. tubes at a bank. That's exactly what, they're <laughs> pneumatic tubes. That's oh, exactly that's what these are. Sweet. Oh, oh, not, not grow tubes for slaves. No, these are like pneumatic tubes. tubes. Yeah, and all of them have a label on them of where the, where in the crystal tower they'll deposit. Oh, uh, hmm. Professor can still read are they? Like people size or car size? Allegan size. Uh, alle okay. okay. So the Futurama tubes, then. Yes. Yeah. The nice. 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 
All right. There's a sign that says for Crystal Tower. Where in the Crystal Tower? Where in the Crystal Tower? Now, there's several different areas for it. Um, you see entrance. You see food court. You Ooh. see uh, you, you see uh, body modification. You see uh, magical studies. You Tattoo see parlor. <laughs> more or less. Uh, and then there's another one. It's I don't want to say that it's, it's guarded, but it seems to be like treasury. No, it's not a treasury. Um, it, it seems to have been slightly blocked off, but there's no one here to stop you at the moment. Like it, it's like so, where somebody would be stationed, and it says uh, Zandi's audience chamber. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and then you see Amon's laboratory. Those are that's the extent of what you see here. They have two employees doing nothing in the same room, <laughs> but the most important rooms aren't guarded by. No wonder these people went extinct. <laughs> I right. understand. From your point of view, there is no one that will fuck with them. Yeah, it's the whole like gods to ants perspective. Yes, yeah, this is this is, this is, this is blo blockbuster, and we're Netflix. Yep. Oh Anybody gosh. have a particular place they want to go? <laughs> well, we can throw ourselves on the mercy of the emperor. You know, that's an option. Um, the radio, from what you said, mentioned some guy named Amon, um, and lovely Mister. Armless, tongueless, uh, mentioned that Amon Crown Jewel was the formerly moon. If there's some type of fancy pants tech that'll take us somewhere, it's probably in Amon's laboratory. Or if we want to ask nicely, the audience chamber. Do you remember who Zandi is? I think I mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were told that the Emperor was Zandi when yes. Sid talked to the uh, brothel guy. Yeah. I'm thinking that. Uh, Amon might be out watching his uh, success go upward, so... That's that's a good point. I'd certainly want to watch something of that scope in person. From where you are, um, there are screens showing it, lifting off. But nobody's here watching it. It's like they all went to see it in person. Yeah. That might Point be it. would also be fun, too, but I doubt it's a one-size-fits-all part. I'm of, I vote for the laboratory. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Wow. Cliffhangers, get out to my laboratory! Uh, you're going to Amon's laboratory. That's one of the forbidden ones, right? That and Zandy's audience uh, chamber, those two are blocked off. Executive wash. <laughs> Let's go to the lab. Alright, well I think at this point we should assume that anyone we're going to find Walt probably wants to kill us immediately, so... Act mercifully. You don't need to do that. <laughs> I'm keep it up. All right. Are you all getting in this in this too? And one by one, are you going all at the same time or what? Is oh. there any indication that the tubes go both ways? To like coming back? Yeah. No. The, is it trapped? Yeah. It's a somehow magically 20. like inverse guillotine, so that like if you're below no. a certain height, it cuts your head off somehow. No. <laughs> Put alpha in first. It's like the Resident Evil movie with the lasers. Cool. <laughs> All the elegance they just hop before they get into the thing every time. <laughs> Funny. Let's go. One at a time. Alpha goes first. You just shove alpha in there. I'll go with Alpha. <laughs> Music <Okay. laughs> That was the perfect timing on that. Also, this is still like crazy far away. Yeah. What is? The tower from here. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's go. I'll go with Alpha. <laughs> no, are you holding Alpha? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Say to hold the Alpha and steps into the tube and like within a second of being in the tube, you just see him whoop, just like gone. Um, Sid, what you see is you are at incredibly fast speeds <laughs> traveling through a tube that you can see outside of. Like, you're in, you're basically going through a rock tunnel right now, um, but eventually that comes up out of the ground and is elevated above the ground as you're continuing along in the direction of the Crystal Tower. Uh, the rest of you guys are going to get in. After, at after, Kev, after he, Kevin sees the professor move at high speed, he sticks his head to look to see where he went into the tube. You get sucked in. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, 
Kevin! I'm gonna run after Kevin. How traumatizing would that be for Sid, though? He's on the other end of the tunnel, he pops out, and then just Kevin's head. It's <laughs> 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 yeah, the seven will, Kevin will still be able to yeah. live for So seven you're going days. after Kevin? Seven days. Is he a chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So all of you are going in this tube, it seems. Yeah. I, I wait to go last, and before I go in, I mutter "fucking hypocrite" in Makote, and then walk in. <laughs> nice. Directed at the group. Okay. Or Sid and Kevin. Okay. Uh, so all of you are flying through these tubes now. Um, one of them, it doesn't leave off at the launch pad, but it goes like next to it. So like, when you go through you see just standing around the giant launch pad. You can't see the entire thing because it's fucking massive. But you see just a row of bodies around it and it looks like it's the slaves and all of them have a hole in their chest. Yeah. Well, which, which, when you say the slaves, which slaves? Yes. All, all just all a ones. bunch of slaves. They, uh, when, when you heard the guy talk about that crop is done. Uh, Professor, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> how, approximately how many dead bodies? Yes. Oh. Too many to count. Just so tons of dead bodies in Amon's lab when we land. You're not in a lab. No. Nope. This is as you went past the launch pad, you can see that. Oh, past. Uh, I misunderstood. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when you get to. When you keep going, you are. You're moving at incredibly high speeds, just so this is clear. You get to Amon's lab. Within about five minutes of stepping in the tube. Um, but once you're there, it just kind of slowly lets you out. Like, it it, it, it uh, decreases your speed a lot. Um, and you're able to just slowly touch down. Feather, uh, you, you know, you feel windblown, but alpha looks like poofed up. <laughs> nice. Uh, but you step out and you're fine. And... Until you see, like, this laboratory is a nightmare. <laughs> uh, it, it's, like, partially dissected bodies all over the place. Uh, there are... It looks like somebody's still alive, just, like, hanging from something. They don't appear coherent, but still alive and missing all of their limbs except for their head and torso. Um, it... Then there are a bunch of beasts that look like they have various things grafted onto them. Um, parts of other monsters, other beasts, and things like that. He's making chimeras, very clearly. Um, goats. Goats? That's what chimera means in Greek. Does it really? It's a goat. I didn't realize that. Because, well, isn't it from Greek mythology that the chimera is the three headed? Yeah, one, 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 one of them is a goat. Yeah. But they named the entire thing. Okay. Um, all right, so, um, yeah. His lab is it's huge. Nobody appears to be here except for his experiments. Professor, you, those people did that to them? Still think they deserve any mercy. You can see, so you can see Kevin getting like really agitated. Anti All of the workers were still perfectly fine, and they just throw it away. They probably knew it's too much. It's so wasteful. They don't know anything. You can see uh, Kevin starting to white knuckle, and he's reaching for his dark sword. He doesn't take it out, but you can see his his hands inching towards his dark sword. Manly, I'm sorry. Uh, these 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 people are horrible. They all deserve to die. How could they do something like this? Thank you. Uh, he doesn't grab his dark sword, but you can see physically his body is like moving towards wanting to take it out and exact some type of revenge. Which you kind of see. Like you can see, like he's getting ready for a fight. Calm down, Kevin. Just calm uh, down. Kevin slaps Dage's hand away. Dage, look what they did! They, they killed all these people, these innocent people! They, they're yeah. not. They're not regular beings. These, these are evil monsters. This is exactly what I was warning Millie about. Not turning into. Uh, these people are horrible. Yeah, they they are horrible. And 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 if if we need to kill them, then we can kill them. It's just how we kill them. You know, we don't need to stoop to their level. 
if you're right. Bob wouldn't have wanted us to stoop to their level, but it's something has to be done. We can't leave here and allow these people to continue on. Uh, we can't allow them to kill more people like this, Professor. Uh, oh, do I see anything that resembles anything that we saw maybe on the step? Any kind of, any of that machinery? Anything similar? Do you find things of similar style, but not like you found on the step? Uh, with one exception. Uh, beneath the Dawn Throne, you saw screens and a console uh, that was used to open up the, the hatches where you could launch missiles and things of that nature. You see something very similar to that uh, in his lab. Are there any writing or anything? Oh yeah, you can still comprehend it. Um, yeah, it's... Um, <sighs> it's, ri it's written in his hand, so it, it doesn't look like the, the neat writing that you saw before, but uh, Matt, scientist writing Comic Sans it, it, <laughs> Yes, Comic Sans um, He's gotta be evil <laughs> yeah. yeah So, uh, it, it's basically something along the lines of uh, Amon's viewing station uh, But it more accurately translates to Amon's omniscient eye Hmm Marketing must have worked hard on that. Yeah, it looks like some kind of surveillance system, if anything. What now? Uh, a way for him to watch different areas without leaving the room. Okay, well, what, what was he watching? Can, can we see? Uh, I suppose we could try. Do I see any labels of areas you on the screen you do see something uh at the bottom that says uh zandy's chamber <laughs> yeah amon's totally watching what zandy's doing um but uh it looks like there's a list in on the data slate that you found mm -hmm. that like here's various areas where i have surveillance kind of thing uh but it doesn't really tell you how to operate it so that you can find those Deus, do you think maybe you can help me out with this? Uh, yeah, if you could tell me what these things, the labels I'll say. Translate for Deus. Oh, so maybe we can try to work it out. Okay, are you using your mini feet? No. Okay, you're just trying to work it out? Yeah. Go ahead and roll a um, machinist check. Does it get advantage because of help? Yeah, that's fine. Woo! Oh, okay. Well, Matt won for that one. Yeah. But uh, 22 for the other. Nice. 22. At what cost? <laughs> <laughs> Give it and take it away. Okay. You do... You're able to deduce how to operate it. Each of these different locations requires a passcode to look at them. You don't have a passcode. Oh, okay. What? Passcode for Zandy's <laughs> chambers, peeping Tom. Well, you know, he already had it open. That's the only reason that you can see it is he was already watching it. But to turn to a different. Oh, so we can screen. see Zandy's chambers. Yes. Right? Is he in them? Zandy is in it. What's he look like? Uh, taller than the average alligator. He looks like he's about 15 feet tall, and he is way more muscular, burly. Um, One piece character. Wearing <laughs> wearing a a high necked cloak on his back. Um, I think there's probably a picture. I was just going to ask if I could pull up a picture. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Stoll hasn't done much. Is anyone else in the, Zandy's chamber? It's Zandy. He appears to be talking to somebody. Um, and that person that he's talking to is off screen, but you could hear him. Like, you thought you found the way to turn off the mute, more or less. Oh, okay. Um, and so, yeah, you can press that button and you can okay. hear what's going on. That's more or less it, oh. yes. Okay, I'll send that to the group portraits then. Yeah. But, okay. Um, you hear this really deep, uh, kind of swirling, ethereal-sounding voice that he's speaking with. 
Um, and the first thing that he says is, the moon is climbing into the sky, and soon you will have all the ether that you need to cross over. That's what Zanny oh, we can all hear that? Yeah, that's what Zandy says. In, uh, the I'll ethereal, I'm sorry, the ethereal voice is somebody else. Zandy says to it, and the ethereal voice says, good. Our bargain will soon be at an end. Um, so, it does not. Sid and Kevin recognize the voice. <gasps> it's Miss Miller. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest plot twist. You heard this voice in Sid's room. At the manor. Is it, soon our, is it the, our was the voice behind the door? Yes. Mm. Our bargain will soon be at an end. I've heard that voice before. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, Professor, what? Was that? I swear that was the voice that I heard behind your door in the room. One we couldn't open. It was. But what does that mean? <clears throat> Nothing good. Do you know what that voice And it's was? the same it's the same voice I heard when I was sealing the gate with Aurelian. Yeah? Sealing the uh, what yes now? Oh. The plot it means that we're in a lot of trouble if that can cross over. I don't know where it's crossing over to, but anywhere it's going, it's gonna be trouble. So, I mean Based on the future, it failed, didn't it? It was still behind the door in the future. Ours, and if that is the future, yeah. Well, then we gotta stop here, right, Professor? <laughs> As you're having this conversation, Zandy begins moving. Uh, the screen doesn't move with him, but he comes more into frame, and then something comes along up on his side. It doesn't look human at all, though it has some humanistic, human, humanoid fig, um, uh, features. And this is what it looks like. I'll put it into chat, but for those who are here. Whoa. Mm. It's a, it's larger than Zandy, and it appears to be coming out of a swirling black cloud of smoke. Uh, this green creature, and it says, and together we will consume this world. Oh, that looks fine. <laughs> Good thing we didn't go to that fucking chamber. Uh, can we still? So, well, that's probably not the audience chamber. That's probably his private chamber. At this point, all of you begin to notice something. The world around you begins to like crackle, like like uh, uh, a visual glitch of some sort. Soon we will devour this world. And together we will devour this. Together we will devour this. Anyone else's eyes getting fucky? Hey. Yeah. What's that? Oh, I thought that was just because I used my, my mind too much today. No, I noticed it too, Kevin. That's so much. What, what, what the hell was that thing behind him? Tommy's here too. It's, um. Hang it. Just chilling. It's. <laughs> From what I understand, I I knew, I just like to make sure that everybody gets time. I knew the the name of it, correct? Uh, I believe it made itself known to you. Yes. It's um something that I don't really no, I don't really comprehend it, but it's calls itself the cloud of darkness. That seems a little grandiose, doesn't it? And then as you're well. saying that, there's more of those visual glitches around you, like something's going on in his laboratory. And you begin to hear like this staticky sound. Similar to the Link Pearl static when the bomb kind went of, off? Kind of, but not exactly the same. Anything else on? Mop. No nope. mop. <laughs> not that you can see. I saw the, the something of darkness. Uh, it's getting hard to pay attention to you, Professor. Something weird's going on with my head. Yeah, I, I got that too. Does Alpha look confused? Alpha looks worried. How about X saying anything? X has not said anything. Maybe we should go back through the tube. 
Okay. Do you want to go all the way back to that first crossroad? Perhaps there's some other doors in this room? He's got to have other doors in here, yeah. so. More doors. But more of the static. A little well, get out of here, Professor. I can't, just can't simply walk through more doors. Oh my goodness. Anyone else getting a little worried that we might have set off a trap when we walk in here and now our eyes are going to explode? I am completely convinced there was no trap. Okay, let's get <laughs> through the, the tube. Come well, that's, on. That, that, that clinches it for me. I'm out of here. Um, Andy, <laughs> as you say that, as you do this with your finger, mm -hmm. it's as if you wiped away whatever was in front of your face. Like, you now just see, like, static. Oh, no, it's when the window freezes and just drag the window on. Oh, all no. Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. That kind of... Kind of happen for all of us? It, it's Animal. kind of happening for all of you. Not exactly at the same time. swear word in the air. With... <laughs> uh, but it feels, you feel your stomach lurch as if the floor is being pulled out from under you. Uh oh. Yeah, like the world's getting reborn. <laughs> the realm. Yeah, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. And, uh, and the static in our ears is not from the link pearl. It's just it's, it's just a general static. static. Can I find um, Gaius during all this? Like, can I go try to grab Gaius to? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's get out of here. We gotta get to that tube and get back. Uh, there's something weird about this place. But not. Yeah, I agree. This. There might be something really bad happening here, real quick. Yeah. So I try to pull Gaius, and and we're gonna head towards the tube. Okay. Every step that you take towards the tube, you begin to see the floor fall out, just fall away and disappear below you. And it's replaced by like a blue and white and green um, and more static. And everybody's experiencing this. And eventually the entirety of the tower is completely gone and you're just standing in a void of what appears to be. Just like- Does it look like what we fell through in the crater? Um, what did I describe it as? The mist, right? It doesn't look like the mist. Hmm. It looks like you're standing in... Uh, well, after after that all goes away, um, you're no longer in the Crystal Tower, as far as you can tell. You've been transported somewhere. Mm. Um, or so it seems. Um, A really elaborate trap. <laughs> yeah. uh, eventually, you realize that you no longer, the air no longer smells the same. It no longer feels like you're in the time of the elegance. Maybe, maybe that's up for you. When a robot flies from this void and touches down in front of you, very large robot, it, it's Omega mm -hmm. that you see. And in a robotic voice that I cannot do, it's, now that you've experienced my recreation of the past, I can test you. And that's where we'll leave. Oh, wow. Full oh, God, I'm horrible with tests, Professor! This is awful! Oh, my God. I didn't have a chance to study. Guessing we don't have our nifty elegant toys anymore? No, they're gone. No! Mm. Oh, recreation! I missed this car. Your normal gear. I did him! Wait, 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 very important question. Is Alpha still there with us? Alpha is still there. Yes! I knew he was knew he was in on it. Okay, so uh, in case that wasn't clear what happened, you guys did not travel back in time. We were in the no, we were like in a recreation, like uh, rain yeah, in the jar you're... type thing. Simulation? Oh my like god. Oh, it, Q's when you, said, crazy. when you said it was a simulation, I'm just sitting here, I'm like, did Kevin of all people really <laughs> fucking have <laughs> that out? No. Big brain, big brain. brain. That's oh, a that star, means all those little kids Q get saved. Thing. Get saved. They also didn't die. What you saw was like pretty accurate to what actually happened at that time. This is it was just from Omega's point of view. That's that's the whole thing is you saw things as Omega saw it, and then a couple of things are just like oh. extrapolated. Yeah, well, it was a simulation that you were able to interact with because Omega had so much data from that time. Got it. Got it. Interesting. Why they're so inefficient with manpower? You could. That's right. Exactly. Okay. Feels better. The Allegans were actually yeah. much more. Yeah, we, we think oh. Millie's evil. I, I swear, Inti's the most evil person here. I was, 
I was like this close. I, I was seriously believing that you guys were not going to go to the Crystal Tower and you were going to miss that entire bit with Zandy. Just FYI. I was oh, thinking that wasn't going to happen. Um, but yeah. Good stuff. And now next Great week. Great uh, story, guys. Great story. I'm, I'm loving it so far. It's really okay. incredible. So we got to um, fight the guy who, who trapped Bahamut? We've got to talk to uh, Omega. Omega. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Omega. Um, I'm not saying there is for sure going to be combat next week, but you should make sure you bring your character dice, uh, character sheets, and your favorite dice. Do I need to create a second character sheet next week? If that was, <laughs> nice. if that was just a simulation, did we expend any of our abilities and resources within that yes. simulation? Okay, so we're gimped. <laughs> Never gonna get my spells back. Dang it! I have to go back to the farm and get all the photos. I gave them all away. Uh, hey, Plot. Sorry, you joined right at the end there. <laughs> Great session, Daz. Great session. All right. No, you, 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 you. All right so who, who predicted that one? I'm just nope. curious. Did anyone? No? No, 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 no clue, dude. I was still trying to figure out how the hell we were going to get back. Did all of you think that you were in the past? Yeah. Yeah, I, th I thought we were, yeah. Yes. Well, that's what I was going for. Basically, it was predetermined past so what we did already affected the future okay splitting timelines or this i guess of... my question is how <laughs> was omega just going to test anybody who decided to jump in his hole or was it uh, well, specifically somehow us i think you'll find that out next week it's like congratulations you're the first idiots to jump in here <laughs> i don't know i don't know if i'll be able to join next week uh we'll see I can someone give someone my sheet to co-pilot but just know I slash and hit things. That's all you really need to do. Do you think yeah, you for sure you play next week, or you might not? I'm gonna try. I, I arrive. I don't know what's supposed to happen next week, so I don't know if I'm gonna meet my boss on Tuesday. Like Tuesday's the day we show up. So okay. and then we have dinner probably. So I have no clue. Uh, but it might be light, right? It might just be like everyone's arriving, mm -hmm. one kind of big meeting to like align everyone, and then we're done. So. Okay. For for me, at best, I would be able to dial in like I did the other night with the. Uh... The uh, brothel, but that's very up in the air. Okay. Okay. I had fun. I I've, I've been thinking about this for a while, and uh, it went it went about as well as I could have hoped. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Really didn't actually commit any war crimes because it never. I was just about to say that Billy did not actually torture uh, anyone. Then I feel like <laughs> the intent. <laughs> yes. So it's the thought that counts in some instances, but it's not the thought that counts in others. I was Millie got yelled at because. The thought didn't count when she almost hurt people. <laughs> but she didn't intend to get them hurt as much as she know, did. If, if you're in, if we're all in someone else's dream. Here's the thing. Know. Millie's doing really things for, yeah. for her group. Yeah, really so cool that too. I so, see it from her yeah. side. I 100% do. Kevin's morality doesn't really see it. But yeah, also sure. understands like, okay, well, technically I'm doing just as many bad things as Millie. <laughs> Yeah, well, the difference is Millie enjoyed it. Yeah. And Kevin does If anything, one might say it was an excuse. I think Kevin can't explain that difference. Yeah, what has Millie been doing with Xenos? Learning how to torture people. <laughs> uh, torture, too. I'm waiting for someone to tell Jess, because uh, explain it however you want to explain it, but uh, she's going to be very excited to hear about this, especially if she's found this great series. Millie got promoted so quickly by Xenos because she had such a talent for torturing people and getting information. Or she got to freaking creep them, creep them out. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you're weird. I gotta keep you close to me before somebody gets in trouble. Alright. Well, thanks for playing, everybody. Yeah, thanks for doing it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got nothing else. Good night, y'all. Good night, y'all. Good night. Sorry that you joined right at the end, Plot. <laughs> I'm not calling him a twat. That's literally his name. <laughs> so I was hoping for that. Because uh, I was talking with Mike ahead of time. Because he was like, so Millie and Sid need to have a talk. I was hoping that was for that talk to just be the two of them. Because I had more things to say. I was going to jump in there, but all I say is dumb shit. And it was like a good emotional narrative moment. Yeah. So. Alex, I wasn't trying to put you on the spot. I just like to make sure that everybody gets time. You know? I think it was putting you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? So it felt like you were putting me on the spot. Okay.
Oh, did you like it? The spot? Mm-hmm. It was fun. That was, that was a good spot. Let's see. Now, what do, do Tavi and Sol think about Deus's kind of throwing them under the bus of like, y'all didn't stop Melly, oh, so you must be complicit shit. in it. What? Did she say that out loud this time? Uh, it's in the journal. I, I thought so. Well, the other bits I had to say to Sid were basically like, you're not my teacher, you're certainly not my